Hello, everybody, and hey. welcome to our live Gem and Mineral Show. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Dave, uh, um, uh, Themes partner here at Sage Goddess, and joining me today is the lovely Robin hey. and Hanalei. Hanalei, <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, has been with us uh, for four years, right? Four years, and um, is just an amazing, amazing perfumer and uh, herbalist mm -hmm. and metaphysics maven extraordinaire so we're very pleased to have her uh, with us today athena is under the weather not feeling well so she's unable to be here so subbing in last minute is moi but we've got some amazing treasures and things to show you and we're thrilled to be able to spend the time with you we've got a bunch of giveaways as well so if you're just looking for something super cool and want to learn some fun stuff and see some amazing gems minerals jewelry we're with you for the next three hours, and we're looking forward to sharing some of it with you. So, I don't know, is there anything we want to get to the rules, or what else yeah, you want to share? Yeah, um, mainly just the rules. Um, be cool. We're all here to have fun. Um, and remember, when you go to bed, you want to wait for S um, Team SG to do it with the gold box. When that gold box comes up that says the name and the price, go ahead and scoop that up. C comment sold. Put that in there, then you are entered to try to win if you get it in time. Um, sometimes we only have one or two of something, so you got to be quick with that. Other times we have more, so you have a better opportunity. Um, remember to always be on live chat, not top chat. Top Good chat call. always makes it so your stuff comes first, but that's not what Team SG sees, and we have to go based off of what they're seeing. Um, Yes, don't be mean. I like that. I saw that. I <laughs> saw that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and make sure that you have um, either already or at the end of the show today an account at sagegoddess.com. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you set up that account in your profile, you want to put your YouTube username, which is what you see when you you know put something in the chat here. So that little name, like Miss KXLU, you want to put into your profile at sagegoddess.com. Then what's going to happen is tomorrow after the sale, we're going to head go ahead and email you an invoice for anything that you've won in today's show. And then you can just check out and pay that invoice. You can pay it um, with any of our checkout mechanisms at our uh, website. And you can also put it on like quad pay or after pay mm -hmm. or zip pay or whatever the heck they call themselves these days. I always get <laughs> confused, but you can do so there. Um, but just make sure that your profile has your YouTube username because that's how we pair up your bid here with your account at sagegoss.com to be able to send you your invoice and all the lovely things that you might get. Yeah. We want you to make sure you get what you want. There you go. So um, we've got a fun, full-packed sale today. I'm super excited um, to co-host with these two lovely ladies. You want to say anything? I'm just excited to show them all the goodies. All right. <laughs> I love it. So why don't we dive right in, yeah? Awesome. Oh, we need, I'm told, we need one minute for a technical issue. Pending, pending. How are you all doing here? Are you guys all good? Did you guys see something in our live preview that is jumping out at you? Anything in particular that you're like, ooh, I'm looking forward to that. And how was your clips yesterday? Hey, Casey. Oh. When they were like in that direct line and oh. I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I could have experienced that. So cool. You do every night at dusk, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying.
our first giveaway. No kidding. We're starting with a giveaway. We're starting with a giveaway. I love it. Look at this. So this is our first giveaway. And when I saw this piece, I was just like, oh, this has to go to someone special. It's a beautiful um, double terminated clear quartz. This is out of Brazil. Um, the clarity on it is so beautiful on the one side. And then when you see it on the other side, you can see where the self-healed fractures are. And that's what's creating some of that white color that's in there. And I love it because when you have a self-healed fracture, it's also helping you know that, you know, you can heal yourself. Hey, they're saying there's no sound. Do you guys? <laughs> can you, do you think our tech support is a little anxious today? I don't know. <laughs> it's all good. So if you are feeling drawn to this piece, feeling called to this piece, please say yes, me, it's for me, we want it. So yeah, just go ahead, if it's something that you would like to have, go ahead and make any comment you want. You could say Eclipse, you could say I love life, your dog's name. Whatever you really want. Bad piece to have in your collection too. It's good for sending and receiving energy mm -hmm. with the two points. And clear quartz is one of my favorite stones for sure. Oh yeah. All right, we'll get some comments going, and then we're gonna choose a winner. Hmm. Out of license, it's your first live gem and mineral sale. Just to put you on point here, why don't you pick? Oh. You can have the mouse and just feel free to scroll as you need it. I just don't pick that one. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Anna Yoder. Ooh, oh. Anna Yoder. A N N A Y O D E R. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, me. Yes, you. Yes, Yay! you. Congratulations! Well, that'll be a fun one for the collection. That's one of those like pieces you put right in the center of an mm -hmm. altar there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It would be really cool on like one of the velvet pillows, so it was like up a, up a little bit, so you could really see it. Yep, I love it. Good, good, good. So congratulations, guys. She said yes, Hawaii. I love it. Very cool. All right, so all right, so that was our first giveaway, and so now moving on to something that it looks like we have two sizes in, mm -hmm. and we have a total of forty pieces, and this is exciting because forty people get to get one of these. What are we looking at? So this is a beautiful piece of pinolith. That's what you see here. And pink opal on top, and it, it's uh, two-toned, as you know we love to do, of the silver with the gold. So um, the, what's really cool, the pinolith actually comes from the Syrian Alps. And we don't have a whole lot of stones that come out of the Syrian Alps. So I like it when we have something that's kind of like in a rare location. Mm -hmm. um, it's a combination of magnesite and dol dolomite. So that's the two stones that you're seeing in there. And the pink opal, which is on top, comes out of Western Australia. And it's a mixture of magnesium and aluminum that gives it that color. And I was show I was talking with Hannah about this earlier, and she was like, oh my gosh. I, I was totally derping out because <laughs> <laughs> this, um, as we all know, the eclipse season is well upon us. Um, and we can feel the energies up to two weeks afterwards. And... I was telling Robin, like, this would be a really good combination piece to work with because we have the pinolith here that helps you shed what no longer serves you, mm -hmm. helps you feel steady amid life's challenges. Um, and then we also have the pink opal, which is good for heart transformation, inviting compassion, um, and helping you work through a heartbreak. And what I thought was really cool is that we have the pinolith here that's going to help you kind of release all of that, anything, feelings of hurt, fear, mm -hmm. hesitation. Uh, with the eclipse kind of working with uh, Mercury retrograde right mm -hmm. now, how many of you are feeling some past lessons rearing their ugly head at the moment, you know? <laughs> and so it's really important to help uh, release those and then mm -hmm. integrate any lessons. What you want to do when you're releasing things, that pink opal, personally, I work with it all the time. Uh, it's just to invite more compassion. As you're letting go, sorry. Exactly. No, I love it. I'm I'm learning from you. But just if you guys would like this, we got two sizes, as you can see here. 
So our small size, which is this one here, is 89. And our large size here is 99. And keep on going. I want to learn more. Yeah, so <laughs> we have the panel of great for releasing. Uh, the pink opal reminds us to show ourselves grace mm -hmm. during these, uh, these healing times. And that's one thing that's really cool about pink opal is it's such a soft, mm. healing, nurturing stone. That when it's like when you're working with it, it's not like a knock over the head while you're yeah. using it. It's very gentle with you. So during these times that's harder, like this eclipse in Aries. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Mercury is in retrograde at the same time. Having something gentle and nice to you is very, very needed, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Hey, Stephanie. The beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. If you hold them on the same plane, I think they can see uh, the yeah. size. It's hard, I know. I'm Having, yeah, I'm asking yeah. technical support to bring the camera closer. Yeah, thanks. Look, luckily, my arms are really long, but... Um, yeah, but a beautiful piece, and yeah, there you go. Pretty. I like the two-tone. Me too. I love two-tone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, so. I'm very much a silver girl. Yeah. But if, um, but when it's mixed... I like it like even more. It mm -hmm. gives it the little enhancements. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got like a darker skin, so I like a little bit of gold on me. Yeah, because it's kind of. I just feel chaotic with my jewelry. Any color goes. Any color <laughs> goes. Well, that works too, right? Well, I'm very Nordic, and I look good in silver. <laughs> so, um, if you're new to us, um, after the team has said what the price is and the size and the piece, you see there, Sage Goddess said, "Comment sold." Penelith pink opal necklace, large 99. All you have to say is comment or comment sold 89 or sold 99. And that'll secure your piece. Then what the team is going to do is after they've received all the, the uh, bids, the team will comment back and tag you and say which one you got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Huxley's mommy. Uh, Athena's under the weather, so I'm jumping in for her. We got him. We're lucky. Hey, Rhonda. All right. So those are the first uh, two pieces, I guess, right? Since mm -hmm. there's two sizes. And next up, we will come over here and scroll down a little bit. Cool. What are we looking at here? So I know a lot of you guys might look at this and be like, oh, K2. It's not. Does anyone know what it might be? Quiz time. Hi, Tanya. Rhonda. What are you teasing me about, Rhonda? Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, you said, is that Barbara? I'm well. Barbara's well. <laughs> For those who don't know, that's been a long-standing nickname of mine uh, throughout the shows. Barbara. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Ooh, oh, we got some know. answers. You are right. It's azurite and quartz. That's right. Th so this is a form of azurite and quartz. It comes out of Madagascar. So far, it's the only place that I know of that has this combination that looks like that is um, this one mine in Madagascar. So it's really, really cool because it's like, as you can see, it is quartz bearing. So mm -hmm. it can be used as a center of a grid. It's also very durable, and so it can actually be used for an outdoor grid as well. Going into like the spring and summer uh, times, people might want to be outside hanging out. So it's it's a great way to like decorate your your table outside if you're gonna have a picnic. Um, so the azurite is uh, the color comes from <laughs> copper, and so and that also enhances the positive flow of energy. Um, and then with the quartz in it as well, it really amplifies that up. There's some great guesses. You guys were guessing Demorderite mm -hmm. and um, uh, K2. And the one that I love actually came from Karen, who said blueberries and quartz. And I think, you know, <laughs> technically cool. speaking, you might be correct, but I love that. <laughs> blueberries and quartz. I love it. Yeah, I was well, telling you, you earlier... Um, how I would use this in my practice. For those who are studying right now, our students, you can definitely use this in a grid. Uh, to help with mental clarity and focus, mm -hmm. any other third eye corresponding gems would be perfect for that. Um, like some lapis. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, some labradorite with it would go really well. 
So we've got, what, 75 of these? They're five to six inches and mm -hmm. just $38. These are deep discount items. It's one of our deep discount items. We used to have them online for 54 and today we wanted to give you the opportunity of getting them for a really good deal. It's an amazing price. 38 bucks. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Yeah. And remember, close your ears, Dave. Free shipping oh. inside the United States Can and we... only $5 outside. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, great deal. It's a. I love this because it really... Azure also helps to cleanse that sub subconscious. So when you, it's like when you uh, have emotionally charged thoughts, you know when you just spew things out and you're like, oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she and I had a whole conversation just about this today. So the timing of that, of you saying that is like, really helps to curb that it cleanses you of that so it's like whenever you're holding inside it helps you clear and cleanse that out so you can go into things with that clear mind and say what you're actually wanting to say not what your emotions are bottling up and spewing at you mm -hmm. i like that yeah um i mean and it, sh it even goes throughout history. Cleopatra used it whenever she w um, used Azurite whenever she needed to do anything where she felt like she needed to bring in like extra energy and extra clearing and Edgar Casey used it when he worked with channeling his visions so he had both of them they had to clear their minds first before they can get out what they needed to do so congratulations guys it's such an interesting thing right the 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 uh, the difference right I don't know if difference is the right word like the dichotomy if you will uh, between emotions um, and communication mm -hmm. and the need to kind of reconcile the two, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. And the one is often, you know, thought of as being bad, right? We're taught not to have emotions or to quell the emotions, but there's such an important facet of life. If we didn't have emotions, think how, how stagnant, stagnant life would be. Right. Mm -hmm. But yet we don't learn as well as we need to, how to communicate around them in the course of our life. And so it is seen as a bad thing when, in fact, emotions is what makes life, life. It's yeah, it makes life beautiful. But I really do think it. So this your, is a good piece for that. So that's what I was trying but, to say. But to your point, that is something that they should teach in school and teach mm -hmm. kids is how to deal with the, their emotions and channel them properly. I don't think it's a school thing. I, no, I think it's a home thing. I'm just no. gonna say because that's where we were like, stop crying. I'm, yeah, no, I'm not breaking out my my inner parent for a minute, but right, I am like, stop crying or you should be happy, right? It's like how to manage those emotions. So it's, I have a tool in place yeah. to be able to help with that. It's definitely a parent thing, and that's where it needs to start. But they can also yeah. enhance it in school. Yeah, they send to the <laughs> principal's office. <laughs> Walk it off, kid. <laughs> Run a lap around the track. Jen, philosopher Dave, I am more of a philosopher than you probably realize. I don't know. Those who know me know. And if you don't know, now get you ready. Know. <laughs> All righty, guys. Hey, Wendy. All right, so what's up next? We got something from Brazil. We mm -hmm. have three sizes, not a whole lot of quantity of these. These are super special. So these, as you can kind of see in this one, bigger than my head. These are Angel Aura Pink Amethyst Clusters. Yeah. I have like an urge to just... They are. It's like you just want to hold them. Right. It's like you can just feel that peaceful energy coming mm -hmm. off of them. So not only is it the pink amethyst, which is the base, and they all have like these little druzy pockets like you're seeing up here where you can see the actual formations of those amethyst points. Um, they are truly pink, and the color that you're seeing on it is also because they have been treated um, with angel aura, and what that means is the actual metals were molecularly bonded under extremely high heat and pressure to the uh, molecules in this stone. So it's not painted on or anything. It has actually, like, fused it together basically the, the chambers that they they make mm -hmm. these in are just gigantic and really 
scientific. They've been built actually for other purposes, mm -hmm. but then they realize they could use these chambers to be able to apply it to the minerals. And mm -hmm. it makes this aura um, uh, look and properties, and it's just something else. And depending on the stone that it's being um, bonded to, it'll look different uh, based on that stone. But also the metals give it that color. So in order to make this color, it's a mixture of platinum, silver, and gold to make this color um, happen. And uh, on the amethyst itself, the reason why it's pink is because it has an inclusion of hematite within that structure of the amethyst to give it that color. And so the hematite is taking the idea of the amethyst and the feeling of the amethyst and it adds grounding and protection to it as well. Yeah. yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite forms of amethyst because as we know, amethyst is really good for rest, relaxation, mm -hmm. and all that. Uh, with it being pink though, this really helps connect with the heart chakra. And so we have extra emphasis on love, healing, uh, patience and self-control mm -hmm. i personally need that <laughs> <laughs> don't we all <laughs> uh but also with the amethyst helps detoxify just bring balance which mm -hmm. i think is perfect for springtime oh Spring for sure about rebirth renewal and just kind of tipping the scales back into the warmer months and things like that That's really nice. yeah so we have the three sizes here um our small guy which is here in the front it is six to seven inches so it's not that small um, we have nine of them for 249 our medium size seven to eight inch and we have seven of them at 299 and this large guy back here is nine to ten inches and we have seven of them at 349 I think I would place this in like my garden or something if you were oh, yeah fairy or fairies this would be a beautiful piece mm -hmm. to kind of have out there maybe surrounded with some flowers mm -hmm. and again very much spring vibes oh That's yeah nice. yeah a little patio spot or mm -hmm. something like that yeah sit out there listen to some birds my my son has been begging us to take him outside every day now he loves to go into our backyard and yeah. he runs around in the grass and yeah. he looks at the plants and he waves at them and he says hi yeah. and it's like i have stones set up all through my garden so it's like depending on which plant is there and what mm. that plant means, I have a yeah. stone that corresponds with it. And he goes up and he pets the stones. Oh, that's cute. So uh, he loves it. Uh, and so, yeah. Like, this one, the front, pet the front, nice and smooth. Did you show the back? Nope. So, yeah. This is natural on the back, so you can kind of see mm -hmm. how that comes off the cave walls, too. Yeah, this is all natural. Nothing has been treated or touched to it. So this is exactly how you would find it if you were just walking past. Yeah. And I think it's really cool because so many stones are like this. You look at it this side, you're like, oh, that's just not, not much. Yeah. But look at that. You cut into it. And the druzy on that is oh. just fantastic. Can I see that for a second? Of course. Sure. And there's also on the side. Yeah, I know. That's why I was kind of seeing this, you guys. You can kind of look in and see some of that druzy. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? You can imagine the light hitting that oh. throughout the day. So if you're just joining us, make sure your feed's set to live chat, not top chat, so you're following along with us as we go in the common stream. We have three sizes of this um, Angel Aura Pink Amethyst. We have the um, six to seven inch. We've just had nine of them. Those are $249. We have a seven to eight inch. Um, just seven of those, those are $299. And then, of course, we have the last size, the 9 to 10 inch, seven of those for 349 Yeah. You can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it close to you. I'm holding it yeah. here. So if you want to buy any of those, you can just say sold $249, sold mm -hmm. $299, or sold $399. And that will indicate to our team who's live with us, and they'll come in back and let you know um, whether you got the piece or not. When you have a minute, can I see that penolith again? What you got there? You want to try it? Yeah. We got some rings, and we were both wanting to wear it. <laughs> right. But, ready? Look at that, guys. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know what my favorite stone is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Opals. Yeah, you can go and this is a beautiful Ethiopian opal. 
It has a little bit of that yellow in there, which I love, but then it has that <coughs> fire of that red just raging through it. It, mm, I love those. I get so excited about them. But with these, um, we only have the one. And so if you want it, get ready. It's just the one. It's just one. It's $269. It is completely adjustable. So you can open it up, close it so it fits any one of your fingers. Don't worry sure. about it. Oh, yes, yeah. hello. <laughs> so right. as you can see there, it'll open and close really nicely. Um, and remember, opals are amorphous solids. And that means that the structure is... Don't call them that. They take offense. And I don't want to be pigeonholed and, like, you know, put in a, a box. Nobody well, puts ba baby in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Do put baby in the corner. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But what it means is actually not, not Dave, nor that. <laughs> but it's, it makes it so it's virtually indistinguishable between a liquid and a solid. So it's basically a liquid that doesn't flow. Yeah. And it's made of just water and silica. So that really makes, so I love that. I love those ideas of, is it this or is it this? Yeah, that's a really interesting uh, thing you brought up because you know this is all about transformation. Mm -hmm. This would be a perfect time for Beltane energies that are mm -hmm. coming up very fiery. Um, a little tidbit that I was thinking of, uh, really intentional about what hand we put our jewelry in. Yeah. Kind of right. Yeah. Left for receiving, right for uh, kind mm -hmm. of channeling the energy. A uh, little tidbit I thought was this would be perfect for our, our alchemists, our magicians, those oh, who want yeah. to create their reality mm -hmm. using the creativity of the fire opal here. Yeah. For sure. Well, congratulations. congratulations. We only had one, and that went quickly. So congratulations to whoever got that. And we're switching gears now. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Are you guys ready for this? <gasps> What's I, in the box? I love it because it's like the box even has the logo on it. It's just like so nice. It's like a perfect gift. Um, Mother's Day is coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Are we supposed to keep one of these for anyone in particular? <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Wait, wait, when is? <laughs> what oh, is shoot. it? <laughs> Luis is like, um, can we keep two? <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! So it's really nice. They eat. It's a, this really beautiful terahertz gua sha set, and so each part of it comes in its own little area, so they don't clink and clank around in your box. Um, and then we have each one comes with different pieces and different shapes, and they are used for different parts of the body and for different type of energy work. Mm -hmm. You were telling me about it earlier, and I was like, what? I didn't know you can move energy with that. I just knew about, like, helping your skin, but she was like, oh, no, you can move energy. Yeah, um, not only does it help with the tightening of the skin, draining the lymphatic nerves and all that, um, if there are any blockages you're feeling in certain energy centers, uh, terahertz is really good because it's good for removing any harmful electromagnetic frequencies, smog, radiation. Um, and then as you're removing or clearing away those blockages, uh, that's what that motion is helping you do there. So that's really cool. Not only it working with this, and especially in this stone, that you're helping your skin, you're helping your energy field. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only other stone that I could think of that would do it as well would be maybe obsidian mm. but i like it because with this it's also healing and conductive um so we have the different ones we have the i think this one's the dolphin right here oh no dolphin so this is the b shape let's start with that one okay <laughs> so this is the b shape and so this one helps you we with your jawline <clears throat> neck calves and the soles of your feet and this is a really important one, especially for your feet. As you know, they carry us everywhere in this world. Um, so it's really important to take care of them and help heal them as best as we can. Oh, and you guys, we sold these before for $108. Guess what? For you, tonight, 79 bucks. Nice. Right? So I just wanted to let you guys know. So if you wanted one, you can claim one as we talk to you about it. So these are $79. We have 72. They're three to three and a half inches. They come in the gift box. Perfect for Mother's Day mm -hmm. or for your own pleasure and storage. Right. If you're not gifting it. So this one is what they call the H shape. Um, and so this one is good for your eyes, nose, mouth. 
Or it's a castle. Or it's a castle. <laughs> you know, either way, I'm just saying you can look at things from different perspectives. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But it's really good for like going down the nose here, going around mm -hmm. your eyes here to help um, tighten and pull pull that. And it just it, it fits really nice in those grooves. Um, so after that, we have the... Um, so this one is the concave. So right here is the concave. This one is, it's bigger and it has this nice dip right there. <laughs> this is good for your thighs, back, forearms, shoulders, pectoral muscles. So in those nice big areas where you really want to like scoop and like push that energy and push just mm. the muscles around. Give yourself a little massage, right? I like massages. <clears throat> My husband's watching. Yeah, I was about to say she's <laughs> she's she's, she's, she's laying it on pretty thick here, and um, you know, not so subtle hints. <clears throat> well, you know, um, if you want something, you ask for it, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the dolphin here, and this is um, good for a facial massage to deep tissue massage, and it also helps in areas like your thighs and glutes. So you can really like get in there and get. Get that knot out, right? Tesla. Okay. <sighs> Keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> so this is terahertz, and yes, it is a man-made stone. So I don't want that. I don't want anyone to think that it's not. It really is. But it was created by extracting the silica from sand or quartz. So basically, all they did was take out that part of the sand in quartz that really helps with that conductive energy and harness that into this stone. So it's really protective of the body of har harmful electromagnetic frequencies, They're smog, pretty. radiation, and it has a really high conductive um, um, thing. Energy. Yeah. Conductivity. Yes, conductivity about it. So it's Throwing like, you a bone, helping you out. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> So it's like, it's like under copper. The yeah. It's like copper in that way. Yeah. So I am really excited about this. Congratulations. Enjoy these. I mean, put a little bit of like um, essential oil on there and like really like push Tesla, it Tesla, I'm not the only one who likes beveled bottoms, right? You know, just saying. You guys are funny. Putting this away really quick because I don't like to give things back. Show them the box again. Yeah. Yeah. I can hold it. Nice. You can hold it. I was just gonna give it to you, pretty. So yeah, we have seventy-two of these. They're seventy-nine dollars. So if you want one, you can say sold seventy-nine. Great Mother's Day uh, gift coming up or for yourself. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, guys. I was looking at the the. Uh, Pinolith again, and you know, I, we might have missed it or might have said it, but um, we have these. Can you scroll back up? Um, but um, the um, uh, sorry, the the pink opal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, being the goddess stone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why you know when we design these, kind of that shape. That it does look like the goddess. You're mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I did not even think about that uh, at first, but uh, oops. You are so accurate on that. So having that pink opal being that goddess stone and bringing it in into that goddess figure of the head here and then the body and then going down into the legs. That's that is right. such a really good... Sorry, pinolith being the goddess stone and then you yeah. get the pink opal. Yeah. That's a really good way to think about it. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Remember, so we have the two sizes, small yeah. 89, large is 99. And... These are just, they're gorgeous. Remember, it helps for, with transformation and uh, transformation in love. And it helps you change your heart. And I mean, it's, so, it's really hard to change your heart sometimes. It's like, you're, you're like, oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. Can't have it. And then you're just like, hmm. Yeah. So you can say sold 89 or sold 99 for the um, mm -hmm. uh, pinolith with pink opal. Beautiful pieces. I just wanted to mention that about being the goddess stone. Mm-hmm. That actually reminds me, I was talking before about how... And open on the back, too. About how I wanted to get a piercing since I was, like, really young. Yeah. I really wanted to get an industrial in my ear. Yeah. 
And I was heartbroken when I went in and found out that my anatomy is not set up for it. Aww. So I couldn't get it, and I was so heartbroken. I wish I had this on me at that point. I ended up getting two other piercings, but still. I think you did okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Beautiful polish on that, too. See how reflective mm -hmm. that is? It's hard to do that on stones, which don't have that level of transparency. Mm -hmm. right? Um, so it's a really nice nice uh, piece of work they've done on this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make mention of that. Ooh. Of course. All right. Wow. That's a wow. Yeah. So I got super excited about these when I saw them. I was looking at them. Because at first I was like, I was stumped at first. I was like, what's this? Oh my gosh, I need to do more research into this. What is this? Because I was like, is it tourmaline? No, it doesn't have the right structure for tourmaline. It's not the right hardness. And so I was going down that rabbit hole. I was looking, looking, looking. And guess what I found out about it, guys? It's a pink, purple Vesuvianite. That's gorgeous. Vesuvianite is almost always green. You, it's real like it's very rare to find a pink crystal like this and have it be a Vesuvianite. And I was just, I was shocked. So of course I sat there with it for quite a long time, researching it, looking into it, figuring things out. And basically what it is is there's such a huge increase in manganese in the um, area around it that it actually converted it from that green color to this pinky purple color. The little bit of that yellow that you're seeing in there as well is an, is part of it that didn't get as much of that manganese. And it made it so it's like it didn't quite change to the full pink. Can we slow that down a little bit? It's like, you know, a wild Ooh. ride. Is it, or is that just as fast as it? As slow as it can. That's as slow <laughs> as it goes? Okay, all right. I'm just saying, I'm like, woo. How about you guys watching it? It's funny. It's a, um, a little refresh on Vesuvianite. Uh, it's really good for promoting emotional balance, calmness, inner peace. Yeah. And uh, I was joking with Robin, you may or may not hear me talk about this eclipse because of how it's affecting me personally. <laughs> but this is definitely one of the stones I would work with to help kind of mitigate and navigate through uh, the energies of right now. Yeah, so... There, <laughs> so there is... um. Whoops, oh. mic down. What do you need? Oh, whoops, I'm making it worse here. Gentle reminder, Mercury is retrograding right. at the moment. So maybe don't try to fix things. Yeah. Let me give you a hand here. Yeah. <laughs> Were you just trying to point it more towards her? Yeah. All right, I got gotcha. you. I'll bring it a little closer and there we yes, go. Yes, that's great. All right, hopefully that's better. You're getting dizzy, paradoxal? Yeah, <laughs> me too. Heather Winkler, I need some drama me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. So um, the other name for this stone when it goes completely pink, um, purple, is actually Woolenite. And that's after where it was discovered by the Woolly River in, Sib in um, Siberia and that Russia. That completely made up. It's true, but it sounds completely made up. <laughs> it's by the Woolly River. Ah. It's by the Woolly Mammoth ah. that lived in this river. Anyway. No, All so right. we only have three of these because it's really hard to come by. They're $89, guys. Yeah. I think I think they already got grabbed. Yeah. A, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I, I could be no, wrong. That was oh, the no. Thing. Oh, no. That was the other piece that was $89. My yeah. bad. My bad. You still can get it, guys. No, you can still get it. There's three. They're $89. Whoops. I was going to make it so nobody could buy it. <laughs> Are you trying to keep these, Dave? <laughs> oh, yeah. Apparently. <laughs> um, they are one inch in size. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now they're taken. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> My bad. The thing before that we were showing was 89 so I saw a comment, you know, sold 89 and sorry. That's me. Moving on to the next thing before we finish the first. <laughs> so this next one I'm really excited about. I, I put this little set together because, I mean, you know, it's like when you go someplace or you're moving into a new place or 
It's like you go on vacation and you, you don't have your tools, right? Tammy trying to hip hypnotize us because of the spinning rock. <laughs> so. You yeah, haven't seen it yet. <sighs> Sorry, I was getting excited. <laughs> She got excited. I got excited. I am loving this that I made for you. So it starts out with this beautiful box. It's in rose gold. Um, it, and it has the logo on top and a little handle. So it's really convenient for carrying your tools around in it. And it has little compartments. So it's like things aren't going to like crash together on there. So when you open it up. I'm sorry. I'm no worries. I'm trying to. We're reaching over each other. <laughs> so I put this together. So inside of it, it's going to start off with a Palo Santo cone. This is really good for spiritually or yeah, spiritually and physically cleansing and enhancing clarity, tranquility, uh, and then inspiring creativity. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite scents. One of my favorite smudges. For sure. I, I love these cones because it's like they last for so long and it's like you can you can like get it to go and then you can put it back out and you can use it again. Or one thing I like to do is if I have like loose herbs mm -hmm. in a dish, I will break little parts of it off and sprinkle it through. And they're actually pretty porous. So if you have <sighs> a collection of essential oils or any mm -hmm. pure blends at home, you can drop a few drops in there before lighting. Mm. Oh yes. And then of course, whenever you go to some place, you need to be able to clear it, right? So I added in a piece of this black kyanite and it's a nice, it's a nice little piece. And one thing I really like about black kyanite is whatever you touch it to it, it immediately clears the energy, but it never has to be cleared itself. That's really rad. So no matter where, I mean, you can walk into some place and it's like, oh, just start touching black kyanite to everything. <laughs> Right. Yeah, uh, my family's found my little uh, the spears around our house, asking, "What is this rock? Why is this here?" <laughs> Serving a purpose. Don't touch that. It's supposed to stay there. Leave it. Just yes. leave it. Yeah. Um, and then I also threw this in here because everyone needs a piece of selenite. But I'm like, you know what? I want to take it up a little bit of a notch. This is a piece of golden healer crystal selenite. That's beautiful. Can I show it on the main camera? Just of course. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So this is a piece of crystal selenite that has inclusions of that iron in it to give it that golden healer essence to it as well. So not only is it good for clearing your area, but it's also bringing in protection. That's pretty. So I love it. These pieces are actually from Utah, which is not an area where you usually find selenite, which is one thing I think is really cool. But then we're going to go a little bit deeper in. Oh, if you guys want these, I'm going to give you guys a chance right now. Um, cause we only have 25 of them. I wish we had more. They're $99. But after that, who doesn't want the area to be prosperous, right? Yeah. So our prosperous tea lights, we've got notes of Asian pear for good fortune, lily for spiritual development, ambergris, uh, sandalwood, blackberry for more wealth, abundance, basil, uh, for joy, prosperity, love, and peace. Uh, and you know, whenever we create perfume, candles, everything's very intentional. Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, I wanted to give it a little whiff. Yeah, so for sure, when you light these, the first thing you're probably going to smell is that Asian pear. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would do with this, Robin mentioned, I'm going to have you smell Oh them. my gosh. Uh, this is a really great oh thing for those who do home blessings. I was telling her earlier that my friends, God, whenever awful. they move into a new <laughs> no, I'm apartment, just kidding. Or, <laughs> I'm kidding. sorry. <laughs> I know, no, they both said it was so beautiful. It's beautiful. I was just kidding. It's being different. Yeah, so like a new home or a new business even, um, this is a great kit to have because you're clearing away that energy. We've got the smudge mm -hmm. for you, uh, and then when everything is clear and kind of reset, lighting these prosperous he likes to help invite uh, abundance into your space is great yeah and so um we also have i of course i put in a couple of smudge bundles this one is the smudge bundles with um, white sage and eucalyptus i also threw in a smudge bundle with the rose petals to cover our chakras um and not just any Palo Santo, but it's a Palo Santo that also has rosemary cinnamon lavender and some white sage and 
lastly, if you're in an area where they're like, you can't burn things because, you know, they're weirdos. Around me. Yeah, I'm the weirdo. <laughs> I'm the weirdo. Like, please, guys. I put in our signature smudge spray. They so you spray can me still when I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> so you can still spray where you need to go. You so. know, and since we're we're working with so many handmade uh, mm -hmm. items here as part of this set, um, we should point out that uh, Hanalei, who's, like I said at the beginning, um, but I know we have a lot of new people here, um, been with us for four years now. Um, she is the right hand to Athena in the designing mm -hmm. and making and blending and um, concoctioning of all these beautiful scents and herbs and products that are handmade here at SG. So this lovely lady right over here is the chief magic maker mm -hmm. of all of our handmade items. I think it's funny sometimes in manufacturing you can ask them you'll see me kind of just dancing and grooving and perfumery I'm like now I have to get the energy going. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah um, a lot of the stuff that I've put together that has like our design elements mm -hmm. it's because I went over to her what would be really good for this? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so congratulations guys I'm yeah. glad you liked that. I might have to build another one. <laughs> So this next item, we've got three sizes. Um, we have an eight to nine inch, a 10 to 11 inch, and a 12 to 13 inch. Um, but we only have 13 pieces. And I'm super excited about these guys. This is another one I wrap it, hold on. So be, be wary. <laughs> so these, I am in love with. So it is a purple fluorite. That's what you're seeing here. And it has a little bit of the blue fluorite in there as well. And then what you're seeing on the edges here, if you see all that druzy, it's not actual druzy. It's a mixture of the, uh, he makes fun of me every single time I, I say it, the chalcopyrite. <laughs> Chalcopyrite. That's why. The Virgo in me just... Choco, 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, so it's like you can see that in there on the edge. And then if you look actually inside of the fluorite, you can see where it's growing inside the stone as well. And then all of this part here that you're seeing blooming up is barite. So this is fluorite. Go ahead, Dave. Chocolate pie, right? <laughs> <laughs> and barite. And there's little pockets in here where you can really see the formation of everything growing together as well. So what's really cool is whenever you see this combination, you're only ever going to really see it in that purple to blue fluorite because when you actually mix the these elements together, it ha gives the trace elements to make purple fluorite. That's right. And then as many of us know, fluorite's uh, really great for revealing your life purpose. It's like your soul path theme. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking at the formation here. It kind of looks like a little path in itself. Uh, and then with the little pockets of ferrite there, um, kind of rekindling your faith throughout this journey of transformation with the chocolate pyrite. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Chocolate pyrite. Chocolate pyrite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the transformation, transmutation on this soul path. Robin feels better on. about this already. <laughs> To put it plainly, that I would probably call this to figure my ish out. <laughs> nice. We've got so we've got the four of eight to nine inch, and those are one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. We have six of the uh, ten to elevens, and those are two forty nine. Mm -hmm. And then we have three of the twelve um, to thirteen inch, and those are two sixty nine. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> See. <ch> <laughs> Like Chaco, like Chaco Taco. <laughs> Chaco Taco. <laughs> and then Pyrite. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't and this right? was the edge she was talking about there. You can see it there. On this piece here, you can really see the banding where the mm -hmm. it's picking up the Oh yeah, that. on the show. Sometimes it's just it's just about getting the uh, mm -hmm. getting the piece. This is the Mac Daddy yeah. piece, you guys. You can see. And you, you can see there at the edge where you can see that pyrite going through the top and actually into the stone. 
that's where the fluorite has actually grown around that uh, pyrite. And then you can beautiful? see the blades of the barite in there. Mm. And one thing that's really cool is um, barite is also known as the flying stone. Because it opens your channels to, like a duck. to the heavens, to source energy, <laughs> and it transports you to other worlds. So that's really cool. So it's like your barite's transporting you to the other worlds. Your fluorite <laughs> is, um, so, is like basically getting rid of the extra stuff so you have a clear path to mm. it. And then the... Chuckle pirate. <laughs> <laughs> is trans is open to have let you transform into what you need to be so it's really going to open up your the source energy to you i love that it's a flat surface so you can put other things on it to it's charge beautiful. it the color is beautiful i don't know that it came through as well like the purple but i love that purple banding in there too mm -hmm. it's a great the purple with the gold with the yeah white with the clear it's, it's something else these. duck duck that's right <laughs> so congratulations guys if, if you got one of these I, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. I saw a comment earlier asking how Bodhi is. Bodhi is doing very well, thank you. He uh, has fattened up a little bit. That's my dog, Border Collie. He's fattened up a little bit for the winter, uh, but you know, so have I. And um, so he's looking to thin down a little bit for the summer here, you know. And uh, so he looks good at the pool. You know? <laughs> <sighs> All right. So what do we got next? Next. You guys having fun? Somebody, oh, Tesla's dog's name is Ducky. I like that. That's oh. cute. Aww. Ducky, that's cute. Thanks, Paradoxical. It's always hard to get the shot, but, you know, it, it, the closer the camera is, it, the easier it is. You just got to kind of, like, give it back into the thing mm -hmm. so that it focuses on the object. Yeah. Heather is asking if I'm dating anyone yet. Woo! Is that a secret? Am I supposed to be dating people? I don't know. <laughs> Am I? Is that an offer? <laughs> this is awkward. I don't know how to do this. I haven't done this for 22 years. I'm not sure. Like, what do I? <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Do, do they like when I talk? So, what do you want to talk about, Heather? Do like so. What do you do for a living? And what do I do for a living? How do I explain what I do for a living? I have a company that sells. How do I? How do I? How do I reduce this down? How do I reduce Sage Goddess down? I sell gems and minerals. What kind of gems and minerals? Um, all of them. All of them. Me <laughs> metaphysical ones does that scare you Is that, did i say too much already i think i said too much already um yeah how do you do that o online <laughs> really how do you market your products um i don't i don't my ex-wife does wait so you work with your ex-wife no, no i didn't say that i didn't say that no wait a minute no, is that bad? Is that okay? Is it okay? Did I work with my ex? Um, okay. Is this awkward? This feels awkward. Should we just check, please? <laughs> <laughs> and this is when I turn the camera. Bye. Um, Brass Goddess, anyone? Yes, please. <laughs> so this is... Um, um, a really cool set, and it's an incense burner. I don't know how to segue from that. So it's an incense burner. It, they, I like this because it really fits our Palo Santo cones almost perfectly. And so you put that in there and light it, and this uh, smoke will actually come out. If it was, I don't know. Dave might not want no, me to No, please, light for the love it. of Aww. God. No. <laughs> No fun. Just spray some some of the smudge spray. <laughs> so it's really cool. So when you do that, the it'll actually come out of these top holes up here, and it makes it really pretty as it goes around. I guess you're just gonna have to get one and to see how it works. Um, but it has the goddess figure here, just like how in those penolith um, pendants that we were talking about mm -hmm. has that same formation That's here, right. where it goes from the head with the arms up to the body and going down. I think this um, is really cool. It's made of brass, mm -hmm. um, and it's believed to help eliminate toxins in the body, boost courage and confidence. Uh, it can help assist you with being more assertive, 
And with it being the goddess figure, you and I, we were talking about this earlier, about it being a bit, uh, a more receptive energy. Mm -hmm. Um, I can only speak for myself. I find myself constantly being in a more masculine energy, at least here at work, constantly have to make decisions and being getting things done. Mm -hmm. I don't really allow myself to be more receptive, be more in my feminine energy. Um, So this is, honestly, I think, a perfect offering for those who are in our apothecary class right now mm-hmm. you know, with the herbs the resins and the oils that we're offering you can make a blend and mm-hmm. put you in that more receptive energy well, while we talk about this a little bit more i just want to say we've got 50 of them they're just 21 dollars. yeah this is a beautiful one to have for just 21 dollars mm-hmm. so yeah um but yeah please continue so um copper is a mixture of or copper th- brass is a mixture of copper and zinc so it is conductive. So when you burn stuff in it and you put in those oils and the, um, so the oils and the herbs in there, mm-hmm. it will conduct that energy out as you burn it. So the smoke will grab that up, send it around, and you can use it in many different ways. Um, I love that it's in the shape of the goddess because it is pulling that energy out as well. And it has such a feminine energy and it's receptive, nurturing, magnetic, and mysterious. Come on, guys. We're wi- or not guys, women. We are mysterious, right? They don't quite get us. No, we do not. I don't <laughs> understand at all. <laughs> but that's why I have a dog. A lot of grounding, you know. But it also just the. I mean, whether you are uh, masculine or feminine in your life, and which side you ride on sh- more strongly, this helps bring out the feminine side in everyone, and it re- it reminds you to have an environment that is full of unity and inclusivity, finding joy where you're at. Mm-hmm. So that's what's things that it re- uh, represents. And remember, every single person on this planet has both a masculine and a feminine side, and you need to be in touch with both to be, in my opinion, a well-rounded person. You have to be balanced for sure. Mm-hmm. I agree. Banana time. Banana. All righty, guys. Got to balance the masculine. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be on that side. What do you imply? <laughs> <laughs> That's a segue. Okay. <laughs> anyway, those are steel. 21 bucks. And free shipping. Mm-hmm. Free shipping. 21 bucks for that. Right? Uh-huh. These are exciting. Oh, yeah. So it's like to make sure everything is right. (laughs) Thank you for that, Heather. I appreciate it. I like to squirm on camera. Wow. What you got? <laughs> I'm just looking at it going, wow, these are quite large. Yeah, clear quartz <laughs> pyramids. So, yeah, these are um, clear quartz pyramids. And so they've got beveled edges. They do have beveled mm-hmm. edges. You know, Even on the side here. I think we need a, uh, a new battery. A new battery in our light here. Um, I want to show the clarity on this because this is really beautiful. Mm-hmm. And it just isn't quite showing up on camera here. So these are clear quartz pyramids, and the, the um, as everyone should know, maybe knows, I don't know, but quartz is all over, found all over the world. It is a mineral that is found on every single continent, and it, depending on where it is, some of it is more clear, some of it is more milky. Um, oh, that's a really cool shot, that's Dave. That's cool Ooh, shot. It's wow. picking up the bevels of the edges. we got to figure out the nice. other camera better here, so it shows the, the picture quality better. Yeah, so... Um, we only have a very small amount of these. They're not all, you know, they're, they're all a little bit different in their clarity as all quartz is. Well, yeah, because this quartz is actually from India. And in yes. India, more of the quartz there has more of those milky inclusions. Sure. And that is just because as um, that means there's more trace elements in there to make it give it that milky inclusion. And... Um, but that it doesn't make it any less conductive. That's right. And to me... Like this one's clear down here. Mm-hmm. I'm just having trouble getting the shot. And but, for, for me, when it's milky like that, I actually like it because I feel like it's giving a little bit more of like a oomph 
to its energy. Mm -hmm. So I, I personally like that. And it, for me, when it's more clear, it definitely is, aids there to scrying. But when it's not super clear, it aids to like just that push of power. It, and this is how, the way how I use it and the way how I feel about it. And with these, uh, just so you guys know, the small one is four to five inches. We have two at three ninety nine, and we the large one is five to six inches, and we have two at four ninety nine. So um, the other thing about this is the shape of the pyramid itself. Pyra the pyramid is a very much a sacred symbol that has been used throughout many different cultures and many different times of human existence. Um, it represents the element of fire. Yes. <laughs> But it also creates a natural balance between the physical and spiritual world. Mm -hmm. So, the, like, if you look at the ancient Egyptians, they buried their pharaohs and stuff like that in that pyramid because they felt like it was going to give them an easier time to go through into the next yeah. life. But it also gave them a channel back to, and to still hold the energy of that pharaoh. The who? The pharaoh. The pharaoh? And the pharaoh. What were the pharaohs? <laughs> Teasing. <laughs> I'm like, do I need to go to? Did I pay attention a, in history class? Egyptology. I, uh, it's, it's a funny story. So, I was just back east. Uh, my mom passed away, and so we went back and took the kids back for her, her funeral. And um, I took the kids to see uh, Hamilton. Oh, that's cool. Which, if you haven't seen Hamilton, wow! I mean, absolutely amazing. Just a phenomenal show. If you got a chance, go, go, go. All right. So we're there, <clears throat> kids, we watch the first act, intermission comes, and I look at both of them, and I say, what do you think? And Zoe, she looks at me, and she's like, this is fantastic. She's like, I know all the songs, I knew them years ago, because I've been following along, and she's like, this is great. And Nick, what do you think? He's like, I don't get it. I'm like, what, what, what don't <laughs> you get? Cool, dude. <laughs> and Nick's like, Nick's like, well, I, I just, I guess I just don't understand the story, like, I don't, I don't get who the guy is. And I was like... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Alexander Hamilton, the other guy, Thomas Jefferson, the other guy, George Washington. He's like, so is this based on a real story? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, just reminded me when you were saying that about, um, <clears throat> about uh, history, uh, the history <laughs> and Egypt and the pharaohs and the pyramids. I'm like, I was like, huh? yeah. But seriously, Hamilton, wow. That's about I haven't seen it yet. That's phenomenal. Okay. You got it. You got it. So the pyramids. We've got a couple pyramids here. <laughs> yeah. And you should definitely grab one. We've only got four of them. I, I know some have already sold. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you don't see quartz pyramids very often. You don't see them with beveled edges. Usually you see, like, little three-inch ones. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Because those are easy to make. Um, and you can get quartz in larger sizes like this to be able to make them. But so much is done in other more common shapes mm -hmm. um, in kind of mass production. You're seeing less and less of this kind of larger specialty um, uh, carvings mm -hmm. like this, which is what this is. So if you want to grab one of these for your altar or your entrance to your house, this is a piece to have. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And thank you, guys. I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, we have these are so pretty. Oh yeah, these are gorgeous. But these are gorgeous for a couple different reasons that Robin is going to share in just a minute because these are cool. <laughs> so these are purple and hydrate. Bring them a little closer to the very <laughs> Not both at the same time. <laughs> we just, yeah, 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 like that. Just one at a time. Let the okay. camera get get into focus with it. Um, so, you, so you got it. So you're like ten inches back. So what you want to do? Bring it up here. Allow the camera to focus in on should it. I move? Yep, exactly. And see, <laughs> see how you're about. No, and see how you're about half the distance from where you were before. Mm-hmm. And then that lets the camera focus just on that. So there you go. 
Fun Ooh. fact, purple anhydrite is perfect for teaching us to accept and learn from all of life's experiences. The <laughs> irony. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> Both good and bad. So these are from Madagascar. And um, so you guys know another anhydrite is angelite, and that's a blue anhydrite. Um, you, you can also get it in white. You see that a lot. And basically what it is, is it's basically dehydrated. The other one? Go for it. Give it a whirl. So um, with these, iron, it's iron and manganese that gives it that color. And because the way how it grows is it grows in like these long blade like sh um, shapes going up and it's those stacking on top of each other and they have a translucency th to them. So that's what's going uh, happening is the light is penetrating through the different layers and it's refracting off of those layers to give it that effect that you're seeing where it looks similar to a moonstone, but not quite because the light is... Is instead of like moving along the top, it's really going in and out of that stone. Um, so th the other thing about this is, like she said, it, ex it teaches us to learn from life's experiences, both the good and the bad. Because remember, we go through, everyone goes through things, good things, bad things, up things, down things, around things. You got to mm. learn from it. And it's those learning from there is what really builds you as a person. Um, but it, it's also a physical and emotional healer as well. And it strengthens the physical body and helps you release wounds of the past. So I know a lot of us have issues where it's like, you still can't do something because of something that happened to you, you know, 20 years ago. You're still mm -hmm. holding on to it. Working with this stone helps you release that so you can go forward in a positive light. So we have um, 13 of the two to two and a half inches. They are 50 four dollars mm -hmm. and then we have 28 of the two and a half to three inches and those are 64 dollars mm -hmm. so you can grab these uh, real quick for mm -hmm. 54 you can say sold 54 for the smaller or sold 64 for the larger mm -hmm. and i love that these are from madagascar frankly mm -hmm. you know it's one of the differences in terms of um, um, the geolocation of the stone and of the material. But there's mm -hmm. something special about Madagascar. It really is. The energy of it. So many minerals come out of so many different places in the world. And when you add them to the collection, you know, they bring a little part of the world and the energy from it mm -hmm. and with it into your home. So much. And mm -hmm. one thing that I really think is cool about this is you don't see it a lot in a polished form because of the way of its growth structure and how it goes when they go to polish it a lot of times as mm -hmm. they go it'll just break off right. because of how it grows in those layers yeah. so to be able to get it where it's holding it itself together <clears throat> and giving that um, beautiful light play across the surface it's really hard to do that yeah. it takes expert carvers to do it to make sure that you actually have a finished piece that's not broken it's because like at what point do you stop working that material because mm -hmm. otherwise you, you're like oh i can get it a little bit more and then the fracture comes and you're mm -hmm. like son of a now i gotta cut it and work it a little bit down exactly um, and on the piece that she's holding now you'll see a part of it that has a little bit of green yeah on the other side there and yeah. sometimes it will have that where it has that little bit of a green inclusion and that's actually epido that is included into that and hydrate epido and so remember, Epido will really help you be able to manifest what it is that you want. That's so. why I thought these were cool. I enjoy the Epido. I enjoy the inclusions. I don't know about you guys, but mm -hmm. when a stone, you know, the purity of a stone is important, right? But when a stone comes, it's like a twofer. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's really nice to see. Yeah, I love conglomerate mm -hmm. stones. So congratulations, guys. Nice. Okay. Yay! Super cool. We'll come back to those. We'll, here, I'll save a couple of these over here. Sometimes I like to play with the stones a little bit, you know, so I like to keep a little collection over here. And if it's oh, a blue stone, yes. it stays over there. <laughs> I remember this piece. Oh, I love them. I remember this one. Yeah, it's this I one. I remember. Thank you guys for your condolences. I appreciate it. All right, they're just getting set up here. Do you want to turn on that top light at all? Would it help? Be ready. 
Mm-hmm. Blinded by the light. I'm not going to continue on. You don't want that. Oh, it's already going on in my head. I know. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I love these. There you go. What are we looking at? All right, let me show this piece first because I know this camera's gonna show me better. So these are just phenomenal pieces of faceted, rutilated, smoky quartz. And when I was looking at these in the sun, I swear I saw little pieces that might be citrine. I'm not gonna guarantee that though because I'm not. <laughs> But look at that rutile in there. These are just amazing, amazing pieces. So, what, what, what? I'm sorry, yeah, I'm like reaching. Did we over jump here. ahead? We, we jumped totally ahead a did. lot. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay. I just was trying to find where we're at. So we have two sizes, and these are one of ones. So we have yeah. a seven inch, and we have a nine and a half inch. Now these, oh. these are collector pieces. Yes, they mm -hmm. are. So there's only one of each size, okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah. So the one the one that he showed you is our seven inch piece, and that one is seven ninety nine. Um, the one here that is on here, this one is the larger piece, and it's nine ninety nine. And the this larger piece does come on the stand, so it does stand up. Unfortunately, we don't have a stand for the smaller one. But one thing that's really cool is because. In smoky quartz, just like in citrine, and that's why sometimes I say you can see a little bit of the citrine in there or not, there's aluminum in both smoky quartz and citrine, and that is what helps give it that color. And it, it also gets lighter or darker depending on how much of the natural earth's heat has mm. uh, affected that stone. Um, so it's real. So I just, it's really, really cool. And then the the root I cannot speak right you, now. You I have am been so struggling sorry. all night here. I'm, I'm seriously. <laughs> somebody get pliers. We gotta like stretch your tongue here or something. It's I'm okay. having issues today. We love you. It's okay. I know. Take a minute. We got this. <laughs> you know what? Take a second. Hanalei. A uh, little refresher. What smoky quartz is really good for? It's good for absorbing negative energy and transmuting it so that you can use it to your benefit. Um, another thing I was derping out over today, <laughs> Robin is witness because I was holding it to my heart. Um, I have a little sphere that's made of this material too. So smoky quartz with that rutilation, not only are you getting that transmutation energy there, absorbing of the negative, but you also have the transformation with the rutilation. Um, and so this is perfect, like a big mama piece if you want to really kind of, upheaval is not the word I should use. But it's a very powerful piece to transform mm -hmm. your life. And so if you're not necessarily satisfied with what's happening right now, and you want to open up into divine love, given the, the shape of this piece, this, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Yeah. <clears throat> so I don't have to Google it later. What is derping? Derping? Derping, geeking out, just... Derp ah! Okay, all right, geeking. <laughs> okay, I got it. I know geeking. I know geeking. So... <laughs> All right, so I think these have both sold um, to Jalen Hall and to MSG. So congratulations, congratulations, you guys. rad pieces. So excited for you. When you get it, please hold it to your heart. Thank you. Yeah, when you get these, you're gonna be derping. <laughs> Go ahead. It's yeah, I know. Did I say it right? Did Derp. I use it right? Derp. Okay, you Derp. Be, just want to make sure I don't. Look absolutely ridiculous or more ridiculous than I am. Yeah. Heather, should I know that? I don't know. My kids don't talk to me how they do. <laughs> <clears throat> what is this? See, it does slow down. Okay. <laughs> this looks much slower than <laughs> how fast it was going before. Before it was going really, really fast. <clears throat> All right. So this is a beautiful specimen of Spessartine garnet. And I love, I really like it because it shows the structure of it so well and how it would actually be found in the, in the wild. <laughs> it's like we're talking about animals. In the wild. In the wild. <laughs> it's true. 
But you can see how it, if you look at it, you see those little lines that are on each one of the sides. Those are actually how it's been growing and adding to itself to create that structure. Um, so with it being the this Spessartine Garnet, to get that color of it, there's calcium and aluminum in there to make it so it really glows in that beautiful orange. So um, it's known as the Garnet of the Sun. And I'm pretty sure you can see why those they look like little suns mm. just like irradiating out from there. It's very I've been like really entranced with this side right here that's coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah, yeah. With the yeah. Mm -hmm. that yeah. Is yeah. So here on the side, you can really see like I call the Druzy the baby crystals. Because it really just looks like, you know, the little beginning of them and how they're starting to form. And then it goes into the full crystals where you can really see that structure. Um, but with it, this encourages confidence and optimism. And it opens you up to being more, more daring. You know, you know what? It's mm -hmm. like if you're the type of person where you're like, well, I really want to do that, but I, I don't know if I can. Well, I dare you to get one. They're one and a half to two inches. We have 13 really to 49 bucks. <laughs> Oh. It's a great stone for um, Double artists, dog, Daria. Double dog. Uh, writers, dancers, other creatives. Uh, as a creative myself, how mm -hmm. often are we kind of attacked with our own self-doubt? Like, is this going to be good enough? Is this really where I want it to go? Like, just not having that confidence. Mm -hmm. So having a piece like this to carry with you, I think, would be an amazing part of your collection. Mm -hmm. Karen, you're funny. <clears throat> Beautiful piece, yeah. <laughs> Just forty nine dollars for this, and it's nice. I mean, this is a good good stone to have in your collection. Yeah, yeah. And we only have thirteen of them. There's not that, not that many, but it's a, a great, beautiful piece. I yeah. I kn I remember when I was looking at these, I saw some going online for well over a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. And I I can't. I mean, some of the crystal structure wasn't even so beautiful. Yeah. Congratulations, you guys. So yeah, congratulations on that. All right, and if you're looking for a deal, this next item, presumably we're going in order. We are. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You're good, Luis. You're doing a great job. Um, but this next item, um, super cool. It's a half Hessenite sphere garnet, Hessenite garnet, mm -hmm. goddess Lakshmi. Mm -hmm. um, and it's neat because basically what we've done is we've taken a sphere, we've sliced it, and then um, also sliced it on the bottom so it stands up. So, and then engraved in the face there is the goddess Lakshmi. Look at that. Isn't it, that rad? It, it's so cool because it's like, you can tell it's the goddess Lakshmi because she's holding those lotuses in her hands up mm -hmm. here and she's sitting on that lotus down there, which is the, her symbol. Um, and the Hessenite garnet itself is a form of grossular garnet. And it has the calcium and aluminum in there as well. And what's one thing I think is really cool is depending, it's like usually it's the calcium and aluminum that make it that orangey color that you can really see in here. But because of the different form forms of it and the amount of those trace minerals, as you saw in the Spessartine garnet from before, it was really clear and light. The Hessenite is going to be that rich cinnamon in there. And that's because it has more of the iron in it of the natural garnet itself. And it's, whereas the Spessartine from before, it has less of that. And so that's what makes it that lighter color. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a... That's cool. That's very cool. Difference between the two garnets. And they're both orange garnets, but because of it, and it's just those little bit of trace minerals, and it can just be like a fraction different. And it'll make that different color. Um, but Hessenite garnet is definitely, um, it's an abundant stone. It's there for abundance and good fortune and prosperity. And so is Lakshmi. Lakshmi is a goddess of prosperity and abundance. So having the two together really amplifies. Mm -hmm. All right, Stephanie, if you really want me to, I will say aluminum five times. Aluminum, 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 aluminum. Woo! Bam. <laughs> Nailed it. Just saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we have 50 of these. They're three inches. They're $68. Mm -hmm. If you would like them, they are custom made. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show them the back side of it. Too. These also have that green garnet in there as well. And so in the green part that you're seeing of the green garnet, that is inclusions of the chromium and vanadium. So that's what's giving it that color versus the cinnamon of the hessonite. Mm. This is probably something I'd put by my front door to help welcome in abundance. Oh, yeah. That's it's a, a great doorstop, too. 
<laughs> really, Dave? <laughs> well, you said put it by your front door. I actually have uh, a Buddha at my front door. <laughs> yeah, as and a door stuff. Yeah, just saying, you know. <laughs> nice summer day. Keep the door open, you know. Well, the thing I really like about this is because it is a sphere, it's sending that energy out in all directions. Mm. So that's one thing that, I, like she was saying, if you have it by your front door, not necessarily to kick around as your doorstop, but maybe on your altar by your front door. Yeah. You can, it's like with that energy going all the way around because of the sphere, you're going to be bringing in the prosperity from and the abundance from outside and swirling it around within your home. And who doesn't want a prosperous home? I do. Happy, good fortunes. That's cool. So congratulations, guys. Yeah, very cool. Piece. Oh, and I wanted to tell you. Bookend. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's a deep discount. Yeah. We used to sell these for $97, but for tonight only, for you guys, it's 68 Yeah. So it's a great deal, guys. Yeah, very nice piece. Mm-hmm. All right, so... So next, we have... Da, 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 da. She, she wanted it really bad. <sighs> it's a bit harder than more. Guys, look what it is. Oh, Have you guys seen a piece of Moldavite this large in a while? Moldavite. I haven't. A lot of the stuff that you're seeing right now is very small, and it's just mm -hmm. the, the little chips. These are five to five and a half gram pieces each. We do not have... Um, we do not have a whole lot of them. I only have five pieces for you. Okay. That's it. That's all I was able to find. So they are $179, just so you guys know. And, I mean, Moldavite is very, very special because it only comes from one area in the Czech Republic. And it is was created from one meteor that hit. And something about the elements in that meteor that hit that one part of the Czech Republic melded together and created Moldavite. Moldavite's one of those uh, um, really fascinating stones that allows you um, to collect or connect, sorry, to the uh, extraterrestrial. Um, and I'm sure you know most of you know all about it, but it's very, very difficult to come by because of its specific geolocation. Mm -hmm. And for quite a while, you know, the mines were actually closed, and um, so it's only recently that more supply has been coming out. Mm -hmm. um, so we're fortunate to have some, especially fortunate to have some in this size, mm -hmm. five to five and a half uh, grams. And we just have five of them for 179 So if you're looking for a genuine, very important, because a lot of fake Moldavite out there, a genuine piece of Moldavite, 179 this size, terrific purchase. So as I said, this is a Tektite and from because it was created by meteor impact and they have not been able to positively identify what actual elements are in there some people say when they test it it's this other times they test it and it comes out with other elements it's that's something that's really cool about it but the ones that they have been able to find kind of regularly is silicone aluminum and oxygen atoms and it's funny because as robin brings that up and i was sharing before about the uh, amount of fake moldavite mm -hmm. that's out there and can you bring it a little closer to the camera yeah i can kind of see it there you go see mm -hmm. um i've actually uh you know seen and actually gotten from other vendors um fake moldavite mm -hmm. that has come with um certificates of, from, authenticity. of authenticity from testing labs oh. because the testing labs don't know what the flock to, to look for in the stone and so they're like yeah it's legit and it's like no they no. just took melted glass and made sure it had these trace elements yeah. in there so it would come back positive yeah. but 
the thing is, is it's not going to be positive if that's all you're finding. Because right. you need to be able to find that plus other elements that are in there. If, it, yeah. if it's not finding the others, yeah. it's not real. Mm-hmm. So there's some great books and resources out mm-hmm. there if you want to learn about Moldavite. Um, of course, we've got an abundance of information. You can look on our website as well. Mm-hmm. But it's really cool to be able to kind of learn about this. And this is one of those stones you see and hear about a ton. So if you don't have it in your collection, maybe now you do. Yep. Lori, a good stones for bruises would be bloodstone or hematite. Those are two really good ones to put on a bruise to help lighten it up. Just a question they had. All right. So congratulations, guys, on those Moldavite Nice job on pieces. the camera side, right? See a little Woo! bit closer. Yeah, and it zooms right in on you, and you just got to, like, avoid any sort of disruption of other things. Yeah, that's open. Yeah. yeah. So the next thing we have that we're really excited about is you guys might have seen us play with them before, but this is our Chakra Oracle deck. And uh, we, it's real. I love this. Can I interrupt and ask everybody for a quick second? If you're enjoying the show and your time with us tonight, would you hit the little like button for us? We really appreciate it. I'm not too modest to ask. If you like it, give a little heart there. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right, go on, please. So these are our Chakra Oracle decks. Um, The art, it was just absolutely beyond beautiful. Um... And it comes with a little booklet so to help you see what it's it's about and help you understand how to read it. Um, Hannah is going to actually do a quick little reading for you guys. Ooh, who wants a reading, huh? If you want a reading, put a heart on it. <laughs> we appreciate it, you guys. Thank you. So it come- If you want two readings, share it. So it comes in this beautiful box right here to help keep everything together. Has our own custom art on there. Um, and this is the same artwork that is on the Chakra book that Athena has written. Um, can you show the cards real quick? Yep. As you can see, the cards here are all colored in Chakra order. And all the edges of the cards are gold. So that's really cool. When, it, when you hold it to the side, it actually has that gold. I know right? um, a lot of you uh, probably have this deck, but this sorry. is a nice opportunity. Sorry, a nice opportunity to pick one up um, for maybe a secondary location, mm-hmm. maybe for work or for a friend. Um, and if you Thank do you. have one, we'd love to hear about how you use it mm-hmm. or where you use it. So you can always throw that in the comment, give some folks some ideas. Exactly. Um, or share a little bit about your experience. So as she is shuffling and getting this ready to go for your reading, if you guys would like a deck, they are $19. All right. They're $19. It is a 54-card deck, so it is a very nice, sizable deck with lots of good information. And it ships for free, Mm -hmm. which is nice. So, and then in the book itself, I'm only going to show you a little bit, but it it not only talks about what is in there, but it talks about the chakra that it's correlating to. So there's lots of really good information in here. Like I just opened up to a random page. You can see what you're supposed to ask yourself about it, knowledge about it. Yeah. Fun, right? Now are we choosing for the readings? It's your your call. It's your call. You're going to read. Oh. She's excited. She's going to (laughs) read. She's going to read for the whole group because if we we sat here and and went and did everybody, we would not have time. But, so this is just for our gener- our whole viewer base. All right. Oh, I love this. So the first card we have is Divine Truth. And then the message is to allow Divine Truth to arise within you. Feel it radiating from you, connecting you more deeply with yourself and all around you. I'm just going to read briefly, if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Our second card is Inspired Innovation. You have the ability to resolve tides of envy and fear with stability. You are courageous and enthusiastic, creating what needs to become in order to move forward with your life. And then our last card is Anchor in Now. You are present, strong, worthy, and capable of creating the harmonious and beautiful life you desire. Mm. Um 
Yeah, this is amazing. So we, we pulled from the throat chakra, the sacral, and the roots. I think that's really interesting because mm-hmm. I personally have been working with those uh, too. And so kind of stepping into your authenticity and really speaking your truth is important in any mm-hmm. season of your life. Um, and then the advice I give all of my coworkers whenever they're venting to me is instead of worrying and regretting about the past or having anxiety about the future, what you should really focus on is being in the present moment. Because that's the moment that really matters is the now. Mm-hmm. It's so funny you say that. I was having this conversation just the other day about about this. Philosopher Dave, <laughs> my philosopher's hat. You know, because I've long, um, you know, wondered about how, how does one find peace. And too much of our lives, the anxiety comes from focusing on what was, oops, focusing on what was, or focusing on what will be. Mm-hmm. But it's the present moment that truly counts. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, it's the present moment that doesn't actually cause you the anxiety mm-hmm. 99% of the time. So the path to peace is being in the present. Now, the side effect of that, however, <laughs> the side effect of that is the most capable moment of peace is actually death. And that's why they say, may you rest in peace. So that's the final moment, if you will. So anyway. But be in the moment, you guys. One life. Worrying about what may be is just time wasted, and worrying about what was is too little, too late. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I love it. And that's how you find peace. Philosopher Dave, out. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations to those of you that got these decks. I would love to see what you guys do with them, see what readings you guys have, if you wouldn't mind sharing. I'd love to see. And thank you for all the hearts, you guys. Yes, we appreciate it. So I'm excited about this one. Okay. I really like this. This is right up my alley. David, yeah. Dave and I really <laughs> geek out over I this know, stuff. we do. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's some pieces, too. Uh, anyway, yeah, please go on. So, Malacola, guys. Look at that juicy pocket. Oh my goodness. So these are Malacola, and as you guys might have guessed, it's a mixture of Malachite and Chrysocola. Usually you'll also find some Shadokite in there sometimes as well. Shadow what? Shadokite. And then as and then it also has quartz in the matrix as well for a lot of these. <laughs> We're all laughing around. <laughs> hey, I'm just me. I do what I do. So, you love making up words. <laughs> Do you need assistance? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. So these are from the um, Republic of the Congo in Africa. Um, one thing that we really like is it's been ethically sourced, which is what I don't know. I'm into that. Yep. Um, we don't want little uh, small children turning green from mining this. No, 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 no. All of our, we make sure it, our stuff is ethically sourced. Luis, it's a real thing. Really? Yeah. It is. Yeah, he was over there laughing, <laughs> thinking I'm joking because I joke so often, but it's real. Yeah. The kids, when they mine it, um, they because it's fibrous, oh. um, it's mm. a powder form, and so if it's not ethically, sorry, if it's not ethically mined, what happens is they breathe it in, mm-hmm. and it actually turns their skin green. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So we lo- so we are not into that. We are into making sure that. Well put. <laughs> well put. <laughs> not into that. We want to make sure that any like any uh, vendor that we purchase our malachite and stuff from is ethically mining, so it's not harming a the environment that it's in, and b not hurting any of the staff members that are mining it. Yeah. So. Um, and with that also, it's like when you have pieces like that, that's where you really find these beautiful, beautiful banding and orbs in it as well because they're really taking time to look at what they're grabbing for when they polish it. Um, it is all copper based. And so that's, it's from the copper is what's making that green and that blue color that is in there. So that's, um, uh, so it's very conductive with its energies. Mm-hmm. Um, really love this combination with the malachite. Mm-hmm. Strong feminine healing energy there, connecting with the heart chakra, 
And then we have Chrysocolla here, which is mm-hmm. the stone of the goddess. And so that, again, just amplifying that, that mm-hmm. divine feminine there. Um, it's, also, it's also a throat. Yeah. yeah. So it's, you've got your heart and your throat working mm-hmm. uh, together. Yes. And it's also very good. It's like if you ever are going into something like you're going into a no- negotiation, you know, say you want to go buy a car. You want to have a piece of like crystal cola with you because guess what? It helps you with that diplomatic give and take and it helps you really believe in what you need and help you give calm and emotional negotiation. And so it's like if Where's you're- the fun in that? <laughs> Wait a minute! You're negotiating the car. Why do you, why do you want to calm? Because it's like as soon as you start being like, no, meh, 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 they're just like they shut down. But if you can go in there and be like, I don't know. And if you go in there and be like, hey, but can I? Yeah, you, a lot of times you get what you want. Uh, well, it doesn't work for me. I'm just saying, you know, maybe you <gasps> get to play some different cards, but not me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I love this. Um, uh, you ca- you catch you more with honey than vinegar. I know, I know. But diplomacy isn't also always about like being passive necessarily. Oh no! We're just sensing into like when to use. Ex- you know, exactly. This is a diplomacy style. Exactly. Yeah. So we have three. I hope you could hear that from Jared. He was saying this is a diplomacy stone. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you could hear, it, but yeah, and it's sensing diplomacy is sensing when to um, kind of act um, mm-hmm. uh, on different emotions and different uh and communicate in different ways yeah look at that look at i that love color. that that is so we have three sizes for yeah. you um and we don't have a whole lot of this so we have the small size which is this one here two to three inches 59 dollars yeah. then we have the three to four inch which is this size here and that is 74 dollars and then we have that big beautiful beauty mama's $99. So if you are really looking for something to really help with yeah, that feminine energy, help you with diplomacy, help you with negotiations, this is your go-to stone for that. Jared is wise. I agree, Tracy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice Hi, compliment. Tracy. Glad yeah. to see you here today, Tracy. Yeah. Even though I'm hiding. <laughs> I, I love it. It's like you'll be talking and then Jared will pipe up with these little like tidbits of information. And yeah. it's just so like spot on. Absolutely. But then again, I think that's how most people are here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, the small is 59, the medium 74 and the large is 99. So you can just say sold and then 59 sold 74 or sold 99 from the Congo. I have always been really, really jealous and upset that I was born so late (laughs) because my mom's cousin actually ran a copper mine in the Republic of the Congo in Africa and he it's like by the time I was old enough to really be into all like all of this and wanting to get stuff he was already retiring and selling it off so it's like I wasn't ever able to reap the benefits, mm-hmm. but he said he would be there. And as they would just walk along the floor um, in the mine, they were walking on top of lapis and walking on top of malachite and crystal coal. And that is just what the floor was wow. outside where the mine is. Wow, that's cool. So it's like it's really cool because it's like I know we read about and we study about how copper creates this. Yeah, yeah. But actually having that is where you can visibly see co- copper creating it. Yeah. And look at, this one has a little face, guys. <laughs> look at that. Eyeball, eyeball, mouth. Uh, 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 hi, guys. Hi, hi. I cannot find. Hi, guys. Uh, we have uh, a few things left that we had talked about that I wanted to highlight real quick. We had the Moldavite. I don't know why I can't find it on here for the love of God, but I can't. 15. 15. Oh. There you go. Oh, because oh, the picture's not displaying. I'm like, I can't find it. So That's we. Why I moved. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we have, uh, yeah, if we don't mind showing that. Um, Did you want to show or do you want me to show it here? Yeah, show it there, would you? So we have um, just a couple of these left the Moldavite for 179 There you go. You get to see Robin's cool, kick-ass uh, <laughs> fingernails there. Um, yeah, I, I have fun. So with you my can nails. say sold Moldavite or sold one seven nine to pick up um, the remaining. Is it two or three? Three of these that we have. Mm-hmm. 
And then for those of us who are curious, like Dave said, really good with connecting with the mothership there, but this is also really good for like expedited spiritual development. So if you want to take a deep breath and say, I am ready, like this is your ghost go to stone. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, full divide. And then um, the other thing is we do have a couple of those clear quartz pyramids uh, left. Is that right? Because I saw I saw those go. I don't know that that's correct. All right. Do you have the other one? Too? I'll show it, but I don't. I'm kind of looking at the data, wondering if that is correct. I don't know. Thank you. I swear I saw those sold, but I'll show them again just in case. So we've got two sizes: the four and a half, which is right here, four and a half inches. You can see it's beveled all the way around. That is three ninety nine, mm -hmm. and then we've got the larger um, one here, and this is four ninety nine for a beveled clear quartz pyramid to put on your altar or in your home. So we've got those. So you can say sold uh, pyramid three ninety nine or sold pyramid. $4.99 if you want to pick one of these up. Yes, Lori, we do have jewelry coming tonight. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. And if you got... missed it, we have that penolith and pink opal pendant that we already showed. Um, so we have some more of those, I believe. Yep. Yes. All right. All right, what's next? Oh, Speaking yeah. of jewelry, here we go. Who's ready for jewelry? Anybody ready for jewelry? I'm always ready for jewelry. Always. Mm-hmm. This is a one of one, huh? Oh, we need we need that light. Okay. There you go. Yes. Yeah, so this is a one of one piece. And it's a mixture of that um, rhodochrosite, which you can see that pink one there, and an Ethiopian opal, which is down below, which we already talked a little bit about, about that amorphous solid, where it's stuck between liquid and a solid state. The rhodochrosite is from Argentina, and it is a mix of the manganese and carbon to give it that pink color. So, and it has that, it has the hummingbird on there, which it, I, I love hummingbirds. I have a little hummingbird feeder in my yard and I love it when the little birds come in. Like, mm -hmm. oh, so much fun. So we have the one piece, just so you guys know, it is 219. That's pretty, huh? Really love this combination of stones. Like we said earlier with opal being a stone of transformation, uh, rhodochrosite is really good for healing trauma. Um, and just really healing the heart space. And so in connection with them being together, that's kind of the space that you're transforming here. Mm -hmm. I think I'm seeing a theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we did just have the eclipse. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> yes. it. Yeah. And I saw a comment. So congratulations to whomever gets that. I saw a comment asking about the, whoop, the penilith, uh before. Robin, I'll show this if you don't mind. Um, sharing the information of course on this so yeah so he is re-showing our penolith and pink opal pendants um so again the penolith is the one that you see is the white with the black and that is a mixture of um magnesite and dolomite so it really helps to shed what is no longer serving you and you feel steady amid life's changes. And it eases the feeling of hurt, fear, and loneliness. And open on the back so that mm -hmm. that stone can come in contact and uh, project onto you as well. So that, so that um, Penelope is really helping you like just let go of everything that you don't need, get rid of it, I don't need you, get out of my life. And then on top there is the pink opal, which is magnesium and aluminum, and that helps you transform in love, and it helps you to change your heart. So you're shedding what no longer needs you, um, and then you're bringing in that loving transformation to put you in a better state. 
So this is a great piece to wear whenever you just are feeling like uh, your anxiety is mm -hmm. is hitting you. You're not sure. You're carrying a lot of weight that you don't need. Having that on you really helps you process all of that. Shed what you don't need and bring in a loving transformation to make your life just Is that what you wanted, amazing. Heather? You wanted me to hold it up to my neck like this? Yeah. So beautiful, Dave. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. <laughs> And as Dave mentioned before, it is in a beautiful shape like the goddess. So it's bringing in that nice feminine goddess energy. Of the goddess stone. So the chain, the chain is, um, it comes in two sizes. You can put it on the tighter one, which is 16 inches, or you can put it on the longer one, which is 18 inches. All right. It's Thank giving you, cranky Alchemist. grandma. <laughs> hey, I am a grandma, and I'm not cranky all the time. All right, what do we got next? All righty. One of my favorite things. <sighs> oh, Go ahead. First. Ooh. So this is a beautiful container, and it is filled with oud incense cones yeah <laughs> fun fact oud originates from the wood of agar tree uh, it's known as the wood of the gods uh, it's sacred from mm -hmm. the middle east it helps calm the nervous system or the central nervous system softens and relaxes you brings emotional physical and spiritual wellness um and honestly just smells amazing it really does and i mean i like oud yeah <laughs> yeah Oh my goodness. I know. Yeah, I'm a fan. When I was in India, I, I got to see some oud, and uh, there it was just. Oh. oh, I bet that was wonderful. It was, it was really, really I good. I bet that was wonderful. Yeah. I think I might have it in my office still. I was going to say, I think this would be perfect if uh, you snagged one of those brass burners, the incense. Oh, one. yeah. Perfect. yeah. These definitely fit. Mm. Yeah, that brass incense burner with the goddess, put one of those mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> Hey, Lena's here. Hi, Lena! What's that? Do we have some of those? Yes. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah, we do have some of the burners fun. left. Yeah. That's the way I'm checking to make sure I did not just fib. <laughs> no, we do have some of the burners left. Louise, can you uh, make that uh, zoom out just a little bit? Yep. Yeah. Got it. So oh. she can so show the burner a little bit, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, we do have the burners, and the burners are... The burners are $21. Oh, yeah. Burners are, that's right. They're just $21. And then um, you can get the oud itself here in this little tin for $19. Right? $19. Mm -hmm. Perfect little combination. This one we can burn right now because I, I do like. Oh. <gasps> we I'm have permission. We have permission. There. there you go. <laughs> oh, you have a lighter. She's like, I already got one. I you needed a lighter. You don't need a lighter. You're all right. Please hold. Mm -hmm. Holding. Holding. I was expecting the Jeopardy theme song. My voice is not that good. <laughs> Oud is a beautiful smell. And if you yeah. haven't had it before... Um, this is a nice opportunity to get some and a cute, cute and little then, box too, right? And then if you had had it before, well then you know. Mm -hmm. So definitely get some oud when you can because it's not easy to get. But this beautiful in this I little uh, brass incense mm -hmm. burner. The cool thing is you get the little silver tin. Isn't that cute? Puff the magic. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. But as you can see, the smoke comes out those little holes very nicely. And it just smells divine. Yeah, oud's good. I like oud. Again, oh, wood of the gods. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I could just sit here and smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're into it, if you can't tell. Just saying. <laughs> All right, that works. So check it out. So you could say sold 19. Uh, and if you want the burner with it, you could say sold 21 to go ahead and get that burner. Mm -hmm. And our team uh, will add that uh, to your order as well. And then you can get both. 
You can get the tin with the oud, and you can get the brass burner, uh, and you can have your way with both. Congratulations, guys. It's good to see you, Jessica. Or see your name. <laughs> it's okay, Angela. The party's still going. Here we go. Ooh. This is going to be fun. Wow. That is beautiful. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yep. I love that. So this is a beautiful aquamarine. Can I see that for a second? <laughs> You're going to switch to... Oh, yeah. Look at the finger. So that's aquamarine. Oh, and it's you. set in sterling silver. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I'm being a pain. <laughs> Sorry. Now he's got to, like, try and set it up. There you go. You did it. Looks great. Sorry. Go ahead. Say what you can say, and then I'll jump in here, okay? So this one is really nice. It's a beautiful aquamarine cabochon set in sterling silver, and the accents on this one are actually bronze. So we don't have a lot of bronze items, and I love, but I love bronze. It really it has a, such a nice feeling to it, and I think it accents that um, antique silver very well. Um, and then of course, aquamarine is a variety of barrel. The color, co the color that makes it the blue is actually coming from iron, which is very interesting because a lot of times when you have iron, that's what you see turns it like the yellows or the reds. But for some reason, when it mixes with the barrel, it turns it blue. Can I see it again? <laughs> <laughs> this, this one's for you, Heather, because you've been asking and nicely, but I'm only going to do it once, okay? She asked me to hold it by my eyes. Aww. I'm only going to do it the once if I can get close enough. Yeah, is that good? <laughs> All right, so here's a, here's a little background. Oh, so sorry, this is uh, five ninety nine. So five ninety nine for this amazing piece. I just want to show it. And it's one of one. That's the only one we have, and it's actually our charity piece for tonight. So the reason I wanted to show this like this and is. Um, I picked this piece out and when I picked this piece out and sorry I'm trying to get my chair okay? back nope when I picked this piece out um, I got this piece with about four others maybe a few more from the designer mm -hmm. and I brought him up to him and he looked at what I had selected were you there with me yeah yeah and and he's like can I take a picture of this <laughs> he's like he's like this is like this is like the selection of all the stuff that I've got here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, absolutely. He's like, and I only like have, these are it. So like, I want to remember that I made these, <laughs> right? So he took a picture for his own records, but uh, his own kind of collection. But these are just gorgeous. And the stone quality, this and, and the others mm -hmm. that we'll bring to you another time if we haven't already brought some, um, you can just see. We had one piece last time. It was that citrine ring. Oh, yeah. And that was just beautiful. Yeah. So, um, wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, you if you wear this, you're going to just be known as... It's a gorgeous piece. It's like an oracle piece you to can me. show it again on camera a little closer if you can. But, yeah, $5.99 for this. And it's our charity piece, meaning mm -hmm. all the proceeds go to the charity of your choice. So when you get this item, um, you can pick where you want the proceeds to go to. Mm -hmm. So if you want it to go to, uh, you know, a homeless shelter or specific, a specific like, uh, uh, you know, dog support group mm -hmm. or something like that, absolutely. Isn't that gorgeous, though? And so it's really, really cool because... The aquamarine is the stone of Merlin. It opens the doors to magic, and it really helps you have your extrasensory perception. It's also known as the crystal of the sea, and it helps you with emotional healing. One thing that I real the story that I have read, and I think it's just beautiful about aquamarine, was about how um, 
the ancient Roman god Neptune, when he first saw Aquamarine, because it washed up on the shore, he it he just fell so much in love with it. Because before Aquamarine was found on just on Earth, they said that only the sirens had it. And a siren dropped it out mm. of her jewelry box. Neptune found it. And then he did not want to lose it. So any sailor that held a piece of Aquamarine would not go down on their ship. Mm. And then he decided that he wanted to gift it to the world. And so Neptune had all the sirens dump their jewelry. There you go. I didn't know that. That's I was going to cool. say, this is one of my favorite throat chakra stones to work with. Uh, for mm -hmm. the calm, clear communication, too. And then, again, like you said, tapping into the emotional mm -hmm. healing. I mean, me personally, my throat chakra has been blocked. Um, and when I'm trying to express my emotions, I keep talking about these, uh, it doesn't quite come out clear. So I lean heavily on this stone. Yeah. To help with that. Pierre Pavel, uh, this is the Pinolith you asked me to show real quick. So just the two sizes. I hope that helps. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, I think... I think I see who got that. I'll say in just a second, but I'll let the team definitively yep. answer that. So congratulations, you guys. Congratulations. It's going to be so great on you. I think Lisa. But I don't want to say it for sure, but I think it is. I think it's Lisa. Congratulations, Lisa. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I try not to pick. We try not to pick the winners because sometimes the feed looks a little different for the, mm -hmm. the team that's actually selecting them. So... If we put the cart before the horse, we've gotten in trouble before. So, I don't want to be in trouble. I don't want to be in trouble. What do we got? I love these. So, these are absolutely beautiful. The base stone on it is fuchsite. Which, I have a funny story about fuchsite in India, actually. Yeah? Yeah, so, I'm in India, and um, uh, I was walking around this building... And I see this big pile of boulders, right? And I'm like, what's all that over there? Like, oh, we're just building a wall. That's, you know, just rocks for the wall. I'm like, really? And it's hot. I mean, it was smoking hot. And I had a bottle of water. So I walk over and I'm looking at the stone. I'm looking at the stone. And I'm like, wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> and I pour some of the water out of my bottle uh, onto the rock. And it's fuchsite. And literally, they're just building a wall <laughs> on a fuse site, like like a like a stone cobble wall. They they thought was just you know, junk rock. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, you don't okay, all right. I'm not gonna say much, but wow, you do you. Yeah. So somewhere in India, I can tell you where is a fuse site wall. <laughs> um, but fuse site is a fantastic stone, and I'll let you go on uh, for uh, growth and fortune. And, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. And it's very much, uh, it not only does it help with that, but it also helps with um, heart healing as well. Yeah. It's a very heart-centric stone. And so it, I love it because it has so many different metaphysical meanings. And if you look at the back of it here, where it's still natural, you can really see that fleck. And it's so beautiful. Oh, this, yeah. is, this really is one of my favorite um, green stones. Yeah. Um, and I have to say that because I have a whole bunch of favorite stones. Um, but they don't come close to opals. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing about these is not only are you getting that fuchsite, which is so beautiful. Each one of these were hand painted by an artisan in India. And as they were hand painting these, they were channeling a deity as they were doing it. And that deity that they were channeling is what they put onto these... Um, onto these um, obelisks right here. So each one has been hand painted. So each, they're all individual. They have different deities on them. Some of them might be Shiva. Some of them might be Shakti, Sar Sarasvati, Ganesha, Lakshmi. Who knows what's going to be on yours because it was all depicted on that artisan. Mm -hmm. So I like these because it's like a little like intuitive oracle reading. Which one are you going to get? Which deity is calling to you to help you through whatever it is in your life at that moment? So that's the way how I have I have this, or I think about it. We don't have many of these. We have just six of the five to six inches. These are fifty nine dollars. 
and then we have 15 of the 6 to 7 inches, um, and those are $69. So you have a 59 and a $69. Mm -hmm. And not only is a fuchsia ob obelisk, but on top of that, you also have a painted deity direct from India. Mm -hmm. And to give you just a little bit of a uh, reading for what you might get, of course, there's the Ganesha, and Ganesha is the remover of obstacles. So if you have this, he's and you have him in your life, and you're working with him, mm -hmm. he'll pave the way. I was gonna say I've been working with Ganesha and Shiva. Shiva is really good for like death and rebirth, and so mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, I was gonna say claw. That's not the right word. Cleaving away. That doesn't sound any better, guys. It does Cutting not. away. No. <laughs> uh, what no longer serves me. And so just kind of working with them in junk with each other, it's just very masculine energy. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. Coming on the other side of the eclipse, too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then this one here is Lakshmi. And as we already talked about before, she is the one for prosperity, wealth, but she's also for beauty. And it's like, that's one thing that you can always tell us. You see here how they painted her with all those jewels because she adorns herself with all the jewels of crimson, fuchsia, and gold to, um, to have that prosperity with mm -hmm. it. And then others that you might get, like she was saying, the Shiva, who represents destruction and rebirth because we all need to break down the, mm. the parts of us that aren't serving us well so we can build ourselves back up in a better way. Um, then there's Shakti, who has your primordial life force. If you if you get one with, um, with Shakti on it, it's really to, you know what, bring in the feminine side of, of you and the feminine principle, but also your creative power. I would not put these outside um, because yeah. of the, the paint and everything and the weathering. Um, uh, there so i would keep these inside mm -hmm. um, but yeah very very pretty yeah yeah so congratulations to cool. those of you that got this i would love to see which one you got and you know share a little bit about how you're going to work with it yeah as we move on here i'd like to show the purple and hydrate and hydrate palm stones again if we can um we have two sizes of these. Uh, we have a two to two and a half inch. It's $54. You got to move it around a little yeah. bit to get it focus on that sucker. There, there you go. go. And yeah, you can start to see the flash. So um, these are $54 um, for two to two and a half. And then we have uh, $64 for the two and a half to three inch uh, piece. And... Um, uh, these are from Madagascar. Um, this is all about uh, learning from life's experiences, both the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. um, it's an emotional and physical healing stone to strengthen both the body and help release wounds of the past. Look at that flash on that. I'm going to say palm stones are one of my favorite shapes to work with yeah. uh, during meditation. Just yeah. There's something about it, right? Mm -hmm. Just hold that there and... Well, the thing I like about it is like when you go to work with it, it's like you can put it in one hand and put your other hand over it. So you're sending and receiving mm -hmm. and you're getting that um, there. So when you're meditating and if you want to flip it, it's just really easy to flip it over the other way. Mm -hmm. So you can send and receive in a different manner um, and they fit so well. It's not like you're trying to deal something bulky and it's like I like it because you can still have your hands touching each other while yeah. you're doing it. Very nice pieces. You don't see this all the time either. Mm -mm. As a stone. Right? Let's show that one. It's a little larger. It might of course. Hold up the camera a little bit. There it goes. I'm going to grab it. Mm-hmm. So this larger one is 64, and then we've got a smaller one that is 54, you guys. Mm-hmm. And then there's some epidote in there. A little heart on this one. Oh. Down at the bottom. See a little heart? It Epidote loves you. I don't know about that. It's going a little far, but you know, <gasps> maybe it has a certain fondness for me. Oh, I thought you were saying for me. It loves you. No. It no. loves them too. It's a genuine fondness. I, it loves a, a beat too far. Anyway, nice piece. Here I am trying to be nice. I know. I appreciate it. All right. So what do we got next? Right here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, 
These are gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Hannah and I both kind of geeked out on these. <laughs> geeked, derped, all of it. <laughs> all the things. It's a snake, guys. And the snake is... Oh, look at that. So it is emerald and white topaz is what's making all that bling on that snake. So I have one on my little finger. She has one on her on her ring finger right there. I love it because it's like they are adjustable, but we have two sizes. And the reason for that is because we have a smaller adjustable that fits around the five to nine ring size. And then the larger one does seven to 11. So it has that little bit of adjustable. So if you have a smaller finger, go small, a larger finger, go larger. Um, I love these, um, you know, because I personally, I think snake medicine is really important to integrate into your practice. As we know, the wild snakes will shed their skins. And so mm -hmm. symbolically, this is you shedding uh, what no longer serves you, mm -hmm. providing that clarity, the growth uh, coming through, uh, and then shedding anything in your past, really, uh, which in itself, I believe, can be another form of transformation there. Very... Mm -hmm much needed again in these eclipse and retrograding energies that we're experiencing right now mm -hmm. um and then the green here the emerald mm -hmm. connects you with your personal power wisdom luck independence uh the white topaz helps activate the crown chakra which is going to help accelerate the speed of your vibrational energy uh surrounding intentions this stone also teaches you the value of faith in the intention setting process and it provides protection, mental clarity, higher realm connection. Mm -hmm. So overall, uh, magically and physically, this is a beautiful piece. So yeah, I think there's another one too, yeah. Yeah, it's right it's right here. Yeah, let's so show this one. These are not um, these are not gold. These are uh, 925 sterling silver with um, a gold um, plating over it. So it's not um, pure gold. Um so I saw your question. I just didn't want to cut her off before while she was speaking because she has some great knowledge for you guys. Yeah. So these are um, both for both sizes, um, sixty three dollars. So you can say um, sold snake ring small sixty three or sold snake ring uh, large sixty three. However they go to put it. So that way you can get it. Oh, it would be a really pretty thumb ring. You're right, Wendy. Um, oh, buddy. You fit them up in. But of course, it's the emerald is a green barrel, so it gets its color from chromium, vanadium, and iron. And um, the white topaz gets it's really crystal, crystal clear from it's um, actually from fluorine and aluminum. It's a super cute, you know, uh, mm -hmm. little ring. I it really know. is. Yeah. yeah, and of course, I wear a thumb ring. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where the camera is, if I can find it. Um, so I like them rings. But I, yeah. I do too. Mine's a bat. There you go. <laughs> I like hers. Bat. Bat. Snake. That's fun. Yeah. So I, I really like these. It, and it's really delicate, which is what I like. most. Yeah. It's like I usually wear smaller, more delicate jewelry. And I really like how this one fits. And it flows really well with the finger. So it's like, it helps to me, even though it's going around and it's small, the way how it goes up at the tail and down at the head, it gives it more of that elongated mm -hmm. look on your finger. Yeah. Very nice. So congratulations guys who are getting one of those. Yeah. We don't have a ton sold. of those. So, oh, sorry. Sold? <laughs> oh, did nope. you? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. All so, right. Congratulations guys. Cool. What do we got? What's next? We do still have some of the brass statue incense burners. Mm -hmm. So you can say sold brass burner. Mm -hmm. um, they're $21 um, for those who were wondering. We do still have the anhydride palm stones. Um, so you can say sold palm stone. Um, you could say small or large. I think there are 54 and 64 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 54 um, and 64. Yep. Yeah. So, but we do still, I saw somebody ask about the brass burner. So oh, I yeah. mentioned that. And then if we do have the snake rings, they're $63. So if you want to come and sold, if you want one of those, and you can say small or large, the small being five to nine, size five to nine, and the large being seven to 11. Okay. 
All right, what do we got? Some beautiful damberite. Ooh. I love damberite, and I am so, like, bummed that it's not coming out of it the is. mines. It is. Oh, my God. It is so hard to find, you guys. Like, I, yeah. yeah. With, with the mines being closed yeah. and not being able to get more, like, I'm always like, oh, is this the last that we're going to have? I'm not sure. It's like, basically, what's out is, is out. out. Yeah. And, and there's not a lot. It's There isn't. Yeah. And so it's like, and that it goes for the white, the pinks, the goldens, like, it's what it's You're what it fine, is. Heather. You're all good. <laughs> no need to apologize. So these are the white damberites. And, um, and the thing about damberite is it's like, we classify it between like clear white and the pink, but a lot of times, depending on how you hold it, it'll look clear in one way mm -hmm. and it'll look pink in another. Well, there so is a bunch of pink, uh, pink damber out there too, mm -hmm. right? Um, so um, you will see that. But, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, the, but that's one thing I really like about it is because the way how damberite grows, it, depending on how the light is refracting through it, you can see different colors in it mm -hmm. as well. Um, so these are from Mexico and the color in these comes from calcium, boron, silicon, and oxygen. Uh, these are two to 2.5 inches. We only have 18 of them and they're $64. Yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful pieces. And I was showing them how you can go from white to clear, depending on which angle you have. Yeah. And it's like, it's just, it's such a good stone for really channeling your energies. Mm -hmm. I also like to use mine to uh, help remove any energetic blocks that mm -hmm. may be in my field. Mm -hmm. um, I have a few wire wrapped actually that are uh, oh, wire yeah. wrapped into wire little wandlets. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll wear them and then I'll just, again, if I'm doing any energy work with either myself or anyone else to help uh, get energy flowing again, mm -hmm. pretty much. It's really nice size because a lot of times you'll see Dembrite and it's small. Mm -hmm. It's not chunky or it's thin. Mm -hmm. um, and so these are nice, larger, chunky pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see this, this size often. Damber, it was the first stone I got when I started working for Sage Goddess. Is it really? Uh-huh. Oh, that's cute. So So just sixty four dollars for these guys. You still have it? I still have it. Nice. I still have it. It is on my dresser. It stays up there with like a few select stones. Nine years ago then, yeah? Nine years ago. Very cool. Yeah, so sixty four dollars for Danberite. And very hard to come by because the mine is closed and mm -hmm. um, there's not a lot out there on the market. We were fortunate to get some and we gobbled up what we found mm -hmm. uh, uh, from several sources. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we hunted around for this. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Whenever we go to like any shows or anything, it's like as soon as you go to a, a booth that sells Mexican stones, we're like, damn right. Yeah, and damn most, right. most do not. Mm -hmm. They're like, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I think one of our favorite damberites that we carried once upon a time, it, it looked like sugar. Oh, much. yeah, oh, the ones that had the sugar crystals uh -huh. all over the edges. I loved those. This one kind of has a little bit of sugar on the top. And what's giving it that look where it looks kind of milky is actually etching. So what's doing that is, is a, a combination of the little bit of a sugar crystal plus natural hydrothermal etching. So that's what's giving it that little inclusion here on the face that makes it look more opaque. All right, you guys. Cool. And buddy, about that. Yay! So next we've got a wand for you. I don't know. Do you guys want to see a wand? Hmm. I don't know. Well, they may not. Wands? <gasps> you get that back. <laughs> Lewis. He tried to steal our wand. Well, I was offering. I, I want to see if, if folks want to see a wand. They may not. They may want to move on to, uh, you know, some other jewelry or some stones. What would you guys like to see? More stones, more jewelry, a wand. <laughs> Show us your wand, Dave. <laughs> 
I don't think we're talking about the same thing, Heather. I just, something Heather. tells me, yeah. Heather, we're going to have a chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so more jewelry. Wand, wand, wand. All right, so we're going to show you. We're going to show you the wand. And then um, and we will get into little jewelry and stuff. I see stones. All right, more rings, more jewelry. Getting a lot of demand for jewelry. All right. mm. Well, all right. So let's show the wand. This is helpful for us to understand what you guys might want to see, or see generators and spheres. Okay. Walk us through this guy. This is a what wand? How can you have all those stones in there? So this is... It's a kid's show, so I'm not going to say what I want to say about nope. it. <laughs> but we start down here with pre night and epidote. Then we go into these little guys here. Opals. So, of course, I'm going to love it. Mm -hmm. And then on this end, it's natural praseolite. And it's a natural mm -hmm. praseolite point. And then this middle section here is a cluster of brookite in quartz. Do I need to say more? Maybe, Maybe. the For price. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm gonna do a little zooming in on that, if that's all right. Of course. Yeah. Or do you want to give it a whirl? Yeah, oh. I can. I was just trying to see the whole. I yeah, didn't see yeah, the whole yeah, thing yeah. at first. So this middle section here is brookite and Look quartz. Look at that, you guys. So for those who don't know, uh, brookite's a synergy 12 stone helps facilitate interdimensional access, expanding your energy field, senses. Um, and then allowing access to wisdom and knowledge. Look at that. Uh, go ahead and tell them how rare it is. <laughs> it's extremely rare. For a while, I mean, I remember when I first started here, we were constantly, oh, can we get brookite? Can we get brookite? And everyone would just laugh because, yeah. no, you no. couldn't get brookite. To get a piece like that, right? that's um, crazy. Yeah. And then they finally oh, started yeah. being able to find the brookite. And as we have been able to, we have been grabbing it up as much as we can um before i we get too deep into this wand though i just want to let you guys know we only have this one it's a one-of-a-kind piece and it's 999 dollars yeah nikki brookite and quartz <gasps> so after this brookite and quartz that you are seeing here and it is these little inclusions inside the quartz that's the brookite um and then we go into Look at this little moon guy, he's so cute. But all these opals that you are seeing are, um, um, these ones are actually Australian opals, which is really cool. And most of the opals that we see are out of Ethiopia, but these ones are Australian. So you can see a little bit of a color variation in there as to why it's like that from the last ones that we have shown you. And then we go to, <laughs> We go down to this pre-night with Epido here. And I look at the quality of this pre-night. You can really see where it's like really darker green and it's going up to almost translucent up here. That is a really good sign of a really high quality piece of pre-night. Rad shot. Rad shot. Look at those Epido shoots. Mm-hmm. And then the Epido in there as well. So remember the um <laughs> the pre-night is the cal is has calcium. <laughs> Aluminum. The epidote has calcium, aluminum, and iron. Um, the prenite is going to heal the healer, and the epidote is going to manifest and attract. And then we go down to the other side. Jackie, did you get that? Yeah, congratulations. I I still get to talk about my. She still gets talking life. about. Congratulations, Jackie. That's a holy shit one. Yes, it is. And that's what I was gonna say, but I said it was a kid show. And they see shit all over <laughs> town, okay? Like, little kindergartners being like, shit, 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 <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, um, so, for the, pre for the pre sea light on this end, it is a natural point. It is trans, and it's green amethyst. And it's known, and it changes from the purple amethyst to the green, actually through um, heat and fire. Yeah. Hey, so. everybody, congratulate us. Uh, congratulate Jackie, will you? Yeah, congratulations, that's a, that's guys. That's a rad purchase. Congratulations, Jackie. That's awesome. Good for you. That is, I love pre night, <clears throat> but that brookite is yeah. something super special. I saw them assembling this over there. Good job, guys. <laughs> so, this one here 
is uh, our Tree of Life Sun Catcher and, and little Bud Vase. So this is... Let, let me know if your arm gets tired. We'll ask Conway to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Such a gentleman, Dave. Wow. <laughs> so this is uh, meant to be outside. So yes, of course, this one can be outside. <laughs> and so up at the top is the Tree of Life, as you can see. And that the Tree of Life is an ancient symbol that has been used in many different cultures. And depending on which culture, you're going to see it in a different way, in a different um, drawing to depict it. I love how this one's a heart. Yeah, mm. that's really cool. Um, but it symbolizes the bridge between the heavens and the terrestrial realm and the underworld. So hermetic principle. As above, so below. Yeah. Um, also makes me Yggdrasil, I believe. Hmm? In Nordic culture, Yggdrasil. Yeah, Yggdrasil. Yeah. So then we go into the stone, the stones of it, and that cluster that you're seeing in there is actually, it's angel aura apophyllite. So again, because it's that angel aura, it's bonded with platinum, silver, and gold, and that expands your visions, helping you see your role in the larger cycle of life. And then the two green aura quartz um, on the side is bonded with nickel, and that brings success and prosperity and attracts abundance. So having this hanging up in, outside in your garden is really, really nice because it's really going to help you see that life cycle. It's mm. just pretty too, guys. And I love that it holds like a little flower, so it's like it really can bring in all the elements, your stones, this energy of the sun, the energy of um, the tree of life, and just whatever flower or green or plant you want to put in there. And these are just nineteen dollars. Nineteen bucks, guys. Nineteen dollars. Another thing that would be perfect for your fey altar outside. Mm-hmm. Springtime energy. So I, uh, I would love this. I would just love this hanging up. I'm very pretty. I would think it'd be really nice if you like you had like a nice tree in your backyard and then you hu mm -hmm. actually hung it around Isn't one of the branches. A patio, like outside a window mm -hmm. or something like that. You could hang it from the mm -hmm. outside of the windowsill so it's still outside or even inside, mm -hmm. right? And you get that light coming through playing off the stone. It'd be pretty. It's like, you know, when you go to wash your dishes and you're like, I'm just washing my dishes. But if you had this hanging outside the window that's right there, I know you like washing I make dishes. the kids do it. Actually, I do like it. I make my husband do it. <laughs> <laughs> but when I have to, it'd be really nice to open the curtains and see this. I'd probably fill mine with like chip stones or something. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. that's a great that idea. idea. That'd be really nice. And you can, uh, that's a really good idea because you, then you can change the chip stone depending on yeah. what season it is, what you're working on, what time of the year. See, I'm not that much of a green thumb. Or maybe I'm still learning, but my plants would. We don't have to put anything light in it, but so I like that idea. You know, mm -hmm. Like you were saying, isn't that pretty? The detail around that heart. <laughs> Hanaway is super chill. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that in focus. Nope. Yes. Right. These are just nineteen dollars. So you can say sold nineteen, or sold teen, sold vase nineteen. All right. Very cool. Congratulations, guys. Yeah. Sorry for my arm in your face there. Just trying to help. Ooh. Well, well, well. What have we here? What do I spy? Let's play a game. What do you spy? Something gorgeous. Anybody know what it is? Should we sing a barrel song? <gasps> Blue barrel is? I'm waiting for them. It's a sun catcher, they say. It's mm. sun catcher. It's the aquarium. Aquarium? 
I think Spellcheck got the best of that one. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yes, Aquamarine. And look at the quality of this Aquamarine, guys. <sighs> Ice cubes. <laughs> Ice cubes, yes. I mean, with that clarity, yeah. Yeah. For your glass <sighs> of whiskey. Oh, my gosh. These aquamarines are some of the most beautiful and clear pieces of aquamarine I have seen in a very long time. Very nice. Um, these are out of Pakistan, and it is a it is Pakistan. a Pakistan. 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 He cor he corrects me. I read. That's how I learn. I don't learn by hearing. Oh, so yeah. I make stuff up on how to say. Part of me, you know. So this is what I have to look forward to with Dio. He's going to correct me on everything. Mm -hmm. Mama. <laughs> Mama. And so it's a variety of barrel. And again, it's the mm. iron in there that makes it that really, really beautiful blue color. And then especially on when it's this crystal clear, in order to do that, to get the blue color as well, there's also usually trace minerals of chromium and vanadium in there. Um, this is definitely the, again, the stone of Merlin to open the door to magic. And then when, if, when people first saw the aquamarine, it, the reason why they named it that is because in the, it, in Latin aqua, it's aquamarina, which means seawater. Mm. And so that is why it was named that way because it looks like the crystal, crystal blue water of the sea i'll be honest it's been so damn long i don't remember the words to that uh barrel song <laughs> it's super easy but i don't sing <laughs> the, i sing but i don't know it i think that would always get yeah. upset with me because she's like blue barrel is and i would go pretty <laughs> yellow barrel is heliodor Theodore. green barrel is the other person's supposed to say it it's oh, emerald. So. Emerald. Is the other person supposed to say it? One person sings the one part, and then the other person says what it is. Oh. Well, blue barrel is. Aquamarine. There you go. <laughs> I think it'd be really cool to see these set in, like, a um, jewelry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or yep. Red barrel is big spite. Pink barrel is morganite. Oh. No, I didn't know that uh, that was... I didn't know which one she would go through. So we have... Did you see the sizes already? No. We have four of the small. They're half inch to three quarters of an inch. They're $49. That's right. Just $49. How? We have three of this um, three quarters to one inch size. Those are $59. And we have just two of the one to one and a quarter inch. And those are $69. So you can say... Sold Aqua 49, sold Aqua 59, sold Aqua 69. Mm -hmm. Amazing price. Yeah. Especially for this quality, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Those are go very quickly. I mean, the, the price on those is amazing. I mean, look at that. Yeah. So, yeah. And congrats to everybody who got the dream catchers. Those are or yeah, sun catchers. Those are right cool there. too. It would. And look at how clear, how crystal clear it is. Other way. There you go. Mm hmm. Other way direction. Other direction. There you go. Yeah, but I was trying to avoid that. Oh. Well, that's fun. But look at, you can even see. Ah, it's the one here. You it's can even one. see straight through it. Yeah. Cool. You can see the skull through it. That's rad. I like that. Good for you. That's just good, clean fun. And these are all naturally terminated. So you can see there at the top, you're seeing the actual barrel termination. These were not polished. This is just how it came out of the earth, guys. So this one is so crystal clear. Can I hold one? Of course. Thank you. Because it's blue, Denise. That's why you're obsessed with it. It's an awesome stone. Any blue stone. Awesome. I share that obsession with you. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> She's seeing how she can turn it into a ring. Oh, it is. How would you turn <laughs> oh, like, it into? Yeah. Hey. Like, but that would make a really cool ring. What's It'd your favorite stone, you guys? 
comment in the feed with your favorite stones. I would love to see. I bet you don't know what mine is. Everybody we know. All right. We'll see what you guys post in just a second as we pull up this next item. So I know yours has to be a blue stone. For sure. A blue stone. But which blue stone? That's a good question. I don't know that I know. All right, so what do we got? Oh, the next you guys wanted a ring. We've got one for you. So we like tanzanite, moonstone, labradorite. You guys like topaz. Topaz, rose quartz. Very cool. Jade. Alexandrite. There's some great stone. Mm -hmm. Blue barite. Chrysocolla, right. peridot, moss agate. I love moss agate. Oh. A Herc fan. Very cool. Sapphire. Atlantisite. Lacy, good for you. Morganite. Like lime, I like Bloodstone, nice. Team SG with diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Scolocyte, yes. Carnelian. These, those are some great options, guys. I love it. Yeah, very cool, you guys. Nice to see. All right, so we've got this ring. It's a three stone ring mm -hmm. with ruby, emerald, and what's the third? Pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline. How about that? So this, these are really cool. That's the, of course, I like it because you can really see the difference between the pink tourmaline and the ruby. Even though it's like a lot of times it's like when you hold them separately, it's like, oh, which one's which? But then when you see them together, you can really see the difference in color. Yeah, yeah. Um, so these are fully adjustable. So you can open them up, close them depending on your finger size. It's opened up pretty big because I was wearing it. Open in the back. Open in the back. Um, so we only have a oh, naturalite. Nice one. Zeolites, buddy of yours. Mm -hmm. So, um, we, we only have 51 of these and they're $99 just to give you guys a heads up. So when we go into it, the, um, so for the Ruby, what makes it red like that is the chromium. So remember if it, it's like, if it is red, it is Ruby. If it's any other color it's sapphire and it's because of that inclusion of the chromium that turns it red and also that is what makes it glow under a black light Ooh. Hmm. so if i can get this to switch over to the black light there you go can you shut off the top of this light here yeah. thank you i'm gonna do it i just can't quite reach Trying to get oh, it. We have so many. This is such here. a bad black light. Where's that purple one? I don't know, but you have so many lights here that I don't think it's really going to show right now because of that. Yeah, but so it's like if I had a black light that was stronger, it will just yeah. glow. And that's a good trademark sign to show that you have a really good ruby. Um, and then, uh, so that's what's in the center there, and it's completely faceted, and it's beautiful. And then um, on the top and bottom of that is your emeralds. And, of course, green barrel, like we were just talking about. And the color in that comes from the, chro the chromium, vanadium, and iron. And so, remember, the ruby is going to have you for passion, eros love. And then the um, emerald is there for, it's of course, for the springtime. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also for youthfulness and growth. Um, and then the pink tourmaline gets its color from manganese inclusion. And that is a heart healer. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. so definitely perfect tool to use if you're looking to heal the heart space, uh, heart transformation. And again, seeing mm -hmm. the theme here tonight. That's right. That's right, you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are $99.00 an adjustable ruby emerald and pink tourmaline ring in 925 silver. And it's a very pretty piece. It's a really nice piece. Handmade. And it fits really well on the finger. I like it how it's el like elongated to fit on uh, fit there, but it's not like so big that it's like you're afraid you're going to knock it. And it fit, and it just it's very comfortable to wear, guys. It fits your hand really nice, Anna. Thank you. Not that one. Not <laughs> that one. That was the fail, guys. Let me show what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Styled with other rings. See, and it goes, it goes along with other rings very nicely. 
So congratulations, guys. It's a pretty piece. Pretty piece. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and show it because I'm surprised we still have a few of these. I know. I'm, I'm really shocked, actually. Here, I'll take that ring over here. Here we are. Thank you. So, you mind talking about this for a second again? Sure. So, really these quick. are our charging. Uh, that's Hanalei, you guys. For people who are new, who's like who's over here with the hand tattoos, that's Hi. Hanalei. Oh, yeah. Hello. Sorry, we introduced to the top bit of you joining us. Um, it's Dave, Robin, and Hanalei. So, these are fluorite charging plates, but they're. They're more than just fluorite. So it's a banded purple fluorite with a little bit of um, the bluey green in there as well. Uh, then there's the chocolate pyrite, which is the um, shimmery, um, silvery gold color that you're seeing all along here up at the top. And you can even see a little bit inside of it as well. And then these plume parts that you're seeing here is all barite. So we have three sizes. Let's start off with the sizes because we've got a, a small that is eight to nine inch. That's this one that is one ninety nine, and then we've got the ten to eleven inch here. Do you want to hold it to help you? Yeah, it's all right. I got it. Ten to eleven inch, and that is two forty nine. Mm-hmm. And then the Mac Daddy two sixty nine. We only have a few of these left, so I wanted to show them to you. Mm -hmm. We really only have, um, we have right here. one, sorry, we have two of these. They're $1.99, mm -hmm. okay? <clears throat> and that's the small, so. And then we have... Four of the medium. Four of the mediums. And you can see. I love that one. You can really see the barite inclusions in there. Such unique... Plates. I want to show these again because they're um, so, so unique mm -hmm. and so beautiful. So this one is $249. Got four of these left. And then the big one, we only have one mm -hmm. left. And this is $269. Loving the purple on that one. Right. So, uh, as I was saying before with these, the reason why you're seeing that banding the way how you are in the color is because, of course, with fluorite, it comes in all these different colors, but in these, having the um, um, chalcopyrite and the barite inclusions, that's actually aiding in the trace elements that are in there, and both of those is what's actually causing it to turn purple. So that is, so it's like, you're not really going to see this stone in, in a different colored fluorite. Yeah. So uh, these are just amazing pieces. And every, so, yeah, sorry to interrupt. So um, these are great altar plates, but they're very, very unique. You know, mm -hmm. you know, thinking about this, what I might want to do is actually get small stands to put these on. Oh yeah. Rather mm -hmm. than covering them up. And if you've got little light, in your mm -hmm. altar that you have directional light in any of your uh you know bookshelf or anything like that putting that behind that uh, behind this with a plate stand mm -hmm. would be really really cool because it'll really light up and showcase um this mineral mm -hmm. and i'm going to show this real quick here look in there you guys let's see if i can get it to focus isn't that rad it's almost like reminiscent of like, you know, root teal growing out there, right? Yeah. Well, it's because of how that barite is growing. Yeah. The barite is actually rutilating through the fluorite. Yeah. So that is why you're seeing it that way. Um, and again, the barite is, um, they call it the flying stone. And it's because it transports you to other worlds. When you use this, it really, like, when you use it, meditate with it, it really will take you places that you are not ever going to experience in with any other stone the fluorite is um removing things out of your way i always think of fluorite is basically the ganesha of stones um because it just really helps you remove what you need to get to where you need to go and the um chocolate is all about trans 
I'm going to keep saying it I my know, way. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> but it's, it's all for transformation and transmutation. And the one thing that's really cool about these is when the Choco Pyrite and the... Hey! <laughs> she did it! Good job! Daddy, and the fluorite it. grow together. What happens is as soon as they start growing together, the fluorite actually is growing around it and encases it like a perfect little like preserve, like how you would see like different things in amber. Yeah. Mm. And so it encases it and holds it in almost a perfect pristine crystal structure, which is what you get to see at the edges there. Yeah. And you're right. Um, uh, uh, film talk with AJ Dean. It is a piece of art. Yeah. It, they really are. And that's why I was thinking, you know, as we were talking, like, oh, yeah, it's a great plate. And I'm thinking, yeah, but, you know, you kind of, you really want to turn that up mm -hmm. so you can see it as a display piece. So, I, I, yeah. But the thing is, is, like, you could definitely turn that up and use it as a display piece. But then as soon as you're trying to go with any type of, like, ritual or anything that you're doing, you can take that down and use it as that plate Absolutely. to really mm -hmm. have that energy go through. Yeah. And we, like I said, we have, we had one, I think. No, we had one of the large. That got gobbled up. Mm -hmm. So now remaining are just, I think, the medium um, and the small. And you can see neither is medium nor small. <laughs> They're both quite large, okay? Um, but we've got the 199s left, which is the small. And then we have the 249, which is the medium. So if you want to grab that, go ahead Now's the last chance is we close these out. Congratulations, guys. All right. Um, you when you get them, you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah, they're about. gorgeous. That's why I really wanted to show they try to show the camera on them. So mm -hmm. all right, what do we got next? Next we have let me get to it. <gasps> Here they are. I'm gonna keep wearing these uh Ruby emerald and pink tourmaline ring. We're gonna make it into a little pinky ring here for you. Huh? That's where I have to wear. Is it? Yeah. 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 Well, I have like a bunch of other rings. Oh on, yeah, so. you're filled up. You got all stations full. Look at that. I love I love jewelry. Mm-hmm. And Bonnie has really turned me on to more and more jewelry. There you go. <laughs> so we have natural azurine. Mm-hmm. So this is natural azurine and zircon. So, yeah, that's. A that's very cool. So the red that you're seeing in there is the zircon, and the azurine is these bars that you're seeing going through it as well. The black. Yes, the black bars. Sometimes it's green, depending. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the two main things, and then it's and then the matrix is um, is basically cookies uh, and cream. No, well it, it is cookies and cream. It is cookies and cream, but. There's a there's a mixture of it. Some of it some of it has some um, feldspar. Some of it has uh, just different things. Like they're so different. That's why it's like when there's a mixture of things, I don't like to say it's one thing or another. Mm -hmm. The two main things that you're going to see in all of these are the azurine and the zircon. So I just want to get that straight because I don't want to say you're going to get something and not get just it. Just like all of us, right? I mean, minerals are often mutts too, mm -hmm. right? are made of many different mm -hmm. things that kind of have come together in some sort of unique mm -hmm. that's one of the great things about minerals in general is the the beauty of its natural origin means it's a conglomerate of yeah. many different things and so this uh natural azurine in matrix uh super cool we've got two different sizes uh we have a two to two and a half inch and there's the green i was yeah, talking there's about the green yeah two to two and a half inch that's just $34. And then we have a two and a half to three inch. That's just $44. So um, $34 and $44. Um, just cool, cool little pieces. And I love these stones, mm -hmm. these in matrix mm -hmm. stones. Me too. Yeah. I love the azurine. It's like one of my go to stones for creating energetic boundaries. This mm -hmm. is my back off stone, leave me alone stone, like shielding myself if necessary. Mm hmm. Yeah. So with it, these come from Malawi. So that's another area. Like I said, I like the stones that come from like parts that we don't get a whole lot of stuff from because yeah. it really holds that energy from where it came from. Um, so it's the azurine is a sodium iron manganese silicate. And it's like she said, it really holds that energetic boundary. 
And it, the name Azrain comes from the Norse god of the sea, Azir, due to its association association with manganese, manganese rich sediments. Cool. So usually things are named after what it looks like or Ooh. where it came from, but this one is actually due to where, like the actual geology of where it was found. Yeah. Um, so if Team SG can comment, we're waiting for the prices to be. You can comment sold thirty four. Or common sold forty four mm -hmm. for the small and for the medium. Um, Vicky, Vic, yes, Taylor. we we do have some chakra decks left if you want one. <laughs> Cookies and cream, ice cream. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I've got that song stuck in my head now. Cookies and cream. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I love cookies and cream ice cream. Oh, thanks for the craving, guys. Mm-hmm. That's fun. So, and um, for the zircon that is in there, the zircon is one of the oldest minerals found on the planet, and it is very grounding, and it's very protective as well. So this is very much a protection stone. You're going, it's going to block out that negative energy. If you don't want somebody coming by you, have this piece. It really does block them out and makes it so they can't, you know, even come close to you. So would you say I'd be able to put this right on my front door? Right there. I say you, you should put on right on your front yeah. door, but maybe your friends won't come over. Aww. But yeah. only if it's only the, people, <laughs> only the people you want to come away. It is a brittle stone. Um, and so something to watch out for, you know. Mm -hmm. the little pieces will flake off, and that's natural. Um, that happens. It just happens, yeah. Yeah. And is there a little, there's some feldspar in there. There's a little bit of feldspar in there. Yeah. And I, there's also little bits of mica in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's why I didn't want to say it has this or has that. Mm -hmm. um, so each one, because it is from the earth, it, each one is different unique, and unique. I don't know if I can get it in focus again. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Nope. Nope. Anyway. Cool, cool. Congratulations, guys. Next, we have something pretty awesome for you. Manifestation perfume. I'm going to let Hannah take this, though. Yeah. She's like the queen of <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, so if you don't know, she is the, um, the mystic maven that makes um, all of our uh, design products, all mm -hmm. of our perfumes and incense and candles and everything um she works in house to make those for us okay so manifestation perfume we have notes of balm of gilead vanilla patchouli frankincense myrrh and peruvian balsam uh, i'm gonna run through them real quick the patchouli is an herb of attraction it helps draw on your desires and makes you more alluring to others frankincense gives you feelings of satisfaction peace reduces the stress uh, one of my favorite things to do with our perfumes, though, instead of just talking about all the intentions that we poured into it. Let me show you, because we've had questions on how to remove the caps before. Uh, we also have vanilla, which attracts your desire, repels what you don't want or need in your life. So when you're smelling this, the first things you're going to be smelling here would be like the patchouli and the frankincense is what I'm picking up first. Um, and then vanilla and patchouli, there oh are base goodness. notes. I had to take a second. And then with the Peruvian balsam, which provides oh, uh, gentle protection. <laughs> and, uh, the <sighs> essence will keep you safe and stable as you go. As you know, many of our perfumes are cut in jojoba, so it's skin safe. Uh, how would you use this? You can apply it to your wrists here to help you manifest as you create or as you do uh, one of my favorite ways to use our perfumes I always drop a few drops into my shoes so that I am walking in manifestation walking in abundance walking in success whatever it is that I am calling forth mm -hmm. uh, so these are just $28 you guys I love the bottle too yeah it's a really nice looking bottle um, I just 
for me, I love manifestation and the idea of manifestation because you're not just manifesting wealth or prosperity. And that's what most people go to when they're thinking about manifestation. But it's you can manifest whatever it is that you are wanting to work on. Do you want to manifest clearer intentions? Do you want to manifest you know, more love and guidance in your life. Mm -hmm. You can manifest some peace and calm in your life. Like I need from, cause I have a 19 month old baby running around. <laughs> I think I need to use this. Um, but you can also just manifest like, what are you working towards? What are you dreaming about? That new job, mm -hmm. that new partner, that new car, that new, a little bit more sunshine if you're, you mm -hmm. know, in a cloudy place, right? So. People, try, kids trying to get into school or if manifesting going back to school to further your education. But even aside, it smells damn good. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, like I mentioned, patchouli and vanilla are your base notes. So if you're not aware, in perfume, base notes are going to be the very last notes that you're smelling on any perfume. Uh, so. And of course... You can put it right on your Palo Santo um, cones, mm -hmm. and you can put that in there. These are porous, like she said, so it'll absorb that up, and then you can burn it, and you're letting all of that out into the area around you, so when you're doing a ritual or you're working on something, you can bring manifestation into But you were going to say area. something else, Hannah. No? Oh, I just had a question. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So, uh, the design of the bottles, I noticed that this reminds me of like a crystal ball. Was this intentional? <gasps> Scurrying? <laughs> That's bit? cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, right? That's really cool. Yeah. Well, we used to have the, um, um, the rectangular caps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We could never quite get them to line up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, we thought, okay, well, if we make, make it spherical, right? Mm -hmm. um, then you'd never have to worry about that. <laughs> so... So, yeah, so congratulations, guys. It is, this is wonderful. It smells divine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really great smelling. So if you got that, check it out. Um, we'll let you know if there's any left over if you are interested. In or... manifesting your own bottle of perfume. Later on <laughs> in the show. Um, and we do have some pieces left of the natural azurine, if you're interested in that as well. Um, the small on that was 34 and the large was $44. We just showed that a minute ago. And then we have some of the natural malacola. Mm -hmm. um, and we can show that real quick as well. Kind of jumping back. We have two sizes available. We have the medium and we have the large. The medium is three to four inches. It is $74. And the large is four to five inches. It is $99, and Malacola um, is a you know, very potent stone for feminine healing. It's a heart chakra a powerhouse uh, stone, uh, mm -hmm. and um, just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love Malacola. It's just, it's just the colors on it are something else. So again, we have the medium size available. It is $74 for three to four inches. And we have the large size available it is four to five inches for $99. And look at that druzy pocket there. Mm -hmm. Super cool to be able to see other way. Yeah. Oh. There we look go. Look at that. Cute Gorgeous. little bubbly, right? And one thing I really like about these is where you can really, not only do you have those druzy pockets, but you're seeing all these little orbs that you see that you have there. Those are actually polished pizza pieces of um, stalactites and stalagmites from mm -hmm. where it was growing. Yeah. So you can see the actual growth structure within that stone. That center there is the very beginning from when it started to grow. And then it grows out basically like tree rings as it's dripping down and getting more and more of that copper on there. So you can see that growth. So that's one of the reasons why I really like Malachi is because you can read it basically like a tree. Yeah, yeah. We also have, um, we're going to show next um, a ring, but I do want to highlight that we still have the uh, ruby pink tourmaline. An uh, emerald an ring. An emerald ring, if I can get it to show here. Would you like me to show it over here? Yeah, why don't you? Would you? Boop. These are $99. 
There you go. Yeah. It's easier when you zoom on in on it. Mm -hmm. okay. These are 99 and that is a faceted uh, ruby in there. And you can see the pink tourmaline on the uh, four um, uh, the circular stones around the outside of the ring. And then the triangle is a emerald trillion uh, in there. Just beautiful. It is open on the back. It is adjustable. Look at that. And it's a custom piece that we made. With the pink tourmalines on the four corners like that, it's almost like sending love out in the four directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's like when you do that, it's um, it's sending it out to the four directions, and that also encompasses the four elements. Yeah. So I really like that because you're sending love out, and then you can receive love back in there. And then with the trillion cut, that's putting it in the... Uh, the basically it's the three so whenever you send something out you get it back threefold so in this you are sending loving energy out yeah. and then you're receiving it back threefold with this ring as well yeah and then um we're about to show you another ring but i think we should show the snake ring again because we Ooh. do have the snake rings so here's the snake ring the snake ring um, didn't it also have emerald? In it? Yes, those are emerald it? eyes and then white topaz um, all the way through it to give it that bling. It's mm -hmm. 925 silver overlaid with gold. These are just $63. We have two sizes. We have a five, size 5 to 9 and we have a size 7 to 11. So you can say sold snake ring uh, mm -hmm. 5 to 9 or sold snake ring 7 to 11, mm -hmm. whatever size range you are. And you can wear this on any finger, um, for that matter, just like the um, the other ring uh, that I was wearing on my pinky. Mm -hmm. Pinky. Yeah, and I like it. I like it when they can adjust up and down, because that means it can fit your different fingers depending on how you want to wear your jewelry that day. Because it's like some of your size rings you can only wear on a certain finger. Yeah. So if you want to wear that, but you also want to wear this, you can just size it up or down to fit around it. So just a couple of these uh, rings I wanted to show you guys again uh, real quick as we move on now to <clears throat> a spicy ring mm -hmm. here. <clears throat> Boom. So these we actually have a ring and a pendant and they go they go together um, or you can wear them separate it's up to you um, and so these you know how we've been doing our elemental ones throughout the sales? This one is our fire element ring and pendant. So the stone in it is carnelian. And then as you can see on the side of that ring there, it has um, the four elemental sil symbols um, going along the side. And on the pendant, it has those same four elemental symbols carved in the back. So these ones are really going to invoke that fire energy, which is great for coming up in the summer season and Beltane yeah, coming Beltane's up. Yeah, Beltane's right around the corner. Um, I really love Carnelian. This is great for mm -hmm. creativity, revving up your passion, fire in you. Mm -hmm. um, as we know, fire is spontaneous. And I joke around with my best friend because this is one of her favorite stones. And she's already kind of zoomy. Okay. So I don't know if she needs any more zoomies. <laughs> but you, you need that spark. You need that little, a little oomph in your life. Mm -hmm. This would definitely be a great stone to work and meditate with. It is known as the gemstone version of caffeine. So mm -hmm. if you want that energy to get up and go, this is your stone. Um, and then, like she was saying, fire is associated with life force, inspiration, creativity, passion. So whatever type of that that you are looking for. Um, it just, I mean, come on. And it's so it's we have pretty. three of the rings. They're $97. And we have 14 of the pendants. They're um, three-quarter inch, and they're on 16 to 18 inch chain. Those mm -hmm. are $119. So you can say sold, um, you know, fire ring um, for the $97. There's just three of them. Or you can say uh, sold fire pendant. For 119 and they're all 925 <laughs> silver and then it has that two-tone with the gold um, overlaid on top of it yeah. 
to really help uh, enhance the those symbols and go along with it again i really like it because the gold is definitely it's a metal of the sun so mm -hmm. that really goes with the fire energy on this mm -hmm. and then i mean remember how with everything you need balance so that's why i like it in the 925 silver which is very much a lunar energy so this is so like rawr in your face but then it also gives that to remind you to take it back a little bit when you're mm -hmm. getting too much for the person next to you yeah so <laughs> it looks like the rings are sold out but we do have the pendants uh, not mm -hmm. many of them so if you want a carnelian pendant say sold 119 for a carnelian pendant on a 16 to 18 inch chain the stone itself is around or the piece itself is around three quarters of an inch in size for the pendant so sold 119 if you would like one, but the rings uh, look like they have sold and out. And I, I believe this is the last of our elemental ones like this. Right, Dave? I think so. I think that's what Bonnie said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. So we um, have a few things left in the show, you guys. We're getting to the back part of things, so we're going to speed it up a little bit so that we can get through um, the remaining items just to show them. So if you're ready... Get your fingers ready to punch in because we're going to kind of do a quasi lightning round. The next item is from Brazil. Look at that, you guys. It is natural yellow lapidolite cluster. And I'm just going to say the price out the gate uh, so you can go ahead and bid as we talk about it. These are just $59. So if Team SG can post, these are just $59 for one to two inch. We have 50 of them. No. So one thing that I think is really cool about these is if you look at it, this is not a natural structure for a lipidolite. We all know that lipidolite grows either in those flat sheets or in a biroidal structure. This one is in a different one. That's because it is actually a pseudomorph after tourmaline. Mm. So what happened was tourmaline was growing in this cluster. The yellow lipidolite actually grew over it and encased that tourmaline. And then the tourmaline was taken out naturally and the lipidolite has filled in. That's rad. So that's what... Mm, that's so nature for you. That yeah. is. So that's why it is the yellow lipidolite. It has all of that um, same energy, but it is formed in a, in a tourmaline cluster. Yeah, there's only, Wendy, there's only the pendants left for 119, but you can mm -hmm. say sold pendant 119 if you would like. This is just neat because it's like, it shouldn't have happened. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It shouldn't be in this way, right? Like, that is cool. Yeah, it should, it should not be that way. You can actually see if you look here on the edge where there's a little bit of gapping, that's area where the tourmaline has come out and the yellow lipidolite has not fully filled in yeah. from there again so that's really cool because you can see how that worked you can see how that structure happened um the yellow in this it comes from iron and chromium and the thing about yellow lipidolite just like how regular lipidolite like relaxes you yellow lipidolite with these inclusions lightens the mood it regulates emotion and has calming relaxing and easing effects so having this around you it will really help you just Make sure you're always feeling good. So you can comment sold 59 for this uh, natural yellow um, lipidolite cluster. Um, that shouldn't be. Mm. Yeah, that really shouldn't be. <clears throat> All right. Well, the next item we've got are Druzy Pyrite Cactuses. These are $99, and we have just four of them. They are three and a half to four inches in size. And they're from Peru. Aren't those cute? These are adorable. I love it. Cause, so, of course, it, it's pyrite. So it's an iron sulfide. Pyrite itself brings in the confidence, inner strength, self-worth, prosperity, and power. Um, and did you know that pyrite came from the Greek word for pyre, pyre which, mean, which means fire? Mm -hmm. So, And it produces sparks when it's struck with another metal. Does it really? Mm -hmm. huh. So you can actually use it as a fire starter. I did not know that. 
The cactus would prefer that you did not hit it against anything, however. But that is true. I did, but it's a fun little fact about the stone itself. Yeah. You can and use then, your cactus. And then these are carved in carved in the shape of a saguaro cactus. Mm -hmm. That's those ones that are like that you always see in everything, and. Um, saguaro cactuses don't develop the arms that go out the sides and go up until they're around 50 to 75 years old. And because of that, it makes it so, and they can live up to 200 years old. Mm -hmm. So it's a same symbol of longevity. So we have just four of these, you guys. They're $99. Uh, so if you want, you can say sold cactus. Mm -hmm. um, but there's only four of them. I've seen two at least go so i think we just have one or two left um, but super cool little thing if you have pyrite this is a nice one to add to the collection mm -hmm. because usually you know you get pyrite and it's not in a carved form um, yeah so this is kind of cool to see film talk it doesn't have necessarily protection properties but the fact that it gives you confidence inner strength and your own power it makes it so you can protect yourself We do have a giveaway coming up, so I want to um, be able to share that with you mm -hmm. soon. We'll hold on this guy yes. uh, here, and so we will show, I don't know, should we show that? I don't know, I think maybe we'll hold off on that too. Okay. So why don't we show this, I think we should, one or the other, what do you think? Yeah, I think we skip this guy. And go to that one? And go to the... Um, yeah. Know, yeah, let's do that. This is super, something a little special. This is from um, South Africa, yeah. you guys. Um, and this is a blue uh, Chalcedony uh, perfume bottle. The blue isn't showing up as well as I might like to show you in terms of the color. Um, with a little a bit of carnelian. Yeah, so the blue Chalcedony itself is from South Africa. Um, and the blue color actually comes from something called the Tyndall effect. And what that is, is where when light um, goes in, it goes into the stone, it gets scattered as it passes through the stone. And it, the proper, and so what it does is the light goes in, it gets scattered all back and forth, up and down, and then it comes out. And with that, it creates the blue color. So it's not actually a trace element. It's interesting, light. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Um, and it, that that adds in properties of shielding and protection. Um, and then the the carnelian on this piece actually comes out of China, which most carnelian comes out of uh, Madagascar mm -hmm, these days. Mm -hmm. um, and we just talked about carnelian, so I don't think we have to go mm -hmm. into that again. But I mean, the this is basically the blue chalcedony is therapy in a stone these are just 49 dollars, you guys these are on deep discount um, typically they are 72 dollars. so instead of 72 you get these with free shipping for 49 dollars, and put some different oils in and just a beautiful display piece for 49 dollars. you were telling me of a great way to use these earlier oh yeah um so i use a lot of herbs and oils in my practice and right now i'm making a manifestation oil of my own so i have some herbs that are infused in like the perfume right now that's right so yeah so you can put a little bit of your herbs mm -hmm. in there first yeah then your oils create something new and i like it yeah it's great if you're an apothecary because you guys have jars in your kits for your like incense blending mm -hmm. and herb blending uh, but not necessarily for perfume and oils, so this is a good like, it's a, yeah. challenge for that. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's it's super cool. I like the faceted top, too. Mm -hmm. so I'm not sure if you Very guys can nice. see that. I've been hiding that the whole time, so sorry. That's <laughs> all right. So, yeah, congratulations on That's that. Right. I know it looks white. It's because, again, the color comes from the Tyndall effect, which is from the light refracting off. And here we have so much light, it's kind of blowing it out. We literally have light, 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 light. And the whole thing is lit up. I can barely see. <laughs> I can just see the screen. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So next up is a one of one piece from Ethiopia. It's a one lit. Well, the um, the opal is from Ethiopia, yes. Yes. so um, and so that is right there. You can see, 
And if you were able to see, we had the one Australian in this sale, and then the others have been through it from Ethiopia. And I know they look similar, but if you saw the one from Australia, it was a little bit more choppy, and these ones are a little bit more smooth in transition, and that's one of the big differences mm -hmm. when you see it on these types of opals. There's other types of opals that we can get into later, but just for these ones right now. And so these ones also have a little fairy on it. Again, great for your fairy garden. That's a natural piece of amethyst down there at the bottom. And that looks like a Brazilian amethyst to me. It's pretty. And then up there at the top is a piece of Lumerian quartz. And that of course comes from Brazil. That's super cool. I love the fairy on that. And mm -hmm. I love that, um, uh, the setting around mm -hmm. at the top of the bale. Um, this is just 289. We only have one of these. So 289, and it comes on a chain. I think that's 16 to 18 inches. 16 to 18, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, super cool little piece. Look at that. Look at that amethyst, mm -hmm. right? I love amethyst. Me too. And that's a, that's a super cool cluster. It's a little cluster, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All those little points going around. Uh huh. Team SG here is. Now again, 289 for this uh, little wandlet. Wandlets are fun because uh, mm -hmm. you can do so much with the wandlet, right? Yeah. Um, Where is a piece of jewelry or, you know, whatnot. Yeah. All right. So we're about to get to a giveaway. But before. But before we do, it's time for Surprise Bags. Woo! And I have a new style bag for you guys for these ones. This is exciting. So these ones, we have them in a few different colors. What's Pink, a surprise bag? Orange, black, greens, others. Others. <laughs> <laughs> so not only this time um, are you going to get intuitive goodies, you're going to get a surprise colored bag as well. So in these surprise bags, I love building these surprise bags. So just so you know, they're $99, mm -hmm. but you're going to get a minimum of $150 worth of of product inside and these are custom built um i i build them and i have a couple of wonderful girls that have been working with me to help me build these as well and what we do is we go through what we have we find things specifically that for what we feel you need so it's like in a little intuitive reading from from me to you um and we fill them you're gonna have candles perfumes, bath and body, lots of stones. And we're, it's just, it's fun because, and I love building these. Um, and it's like each one, it's not built like, oh, here's one, here's one. No, we take, we look at your order. We see your name and we feel what it is that you might be reading or needing. And we, and that's what we try to fill for you. That kind I of can guarantee of like a mini well offering. It is like a mini well yeah, offering. It is. It is. So, it's not going to fit in this bag though, because I put too much stuff. Uh, so, so um, the surprise bags are just an amazing collection um, that we put together, and um, it's one of these things. It's overvalued uh, for you, um, and so whenever you receive these, it is just an extraordinary collection of things that we send your way. It is intuitively chosen, so you don't know what you're going to get, hence the surprise aspect, but that's part of the joy of the experience, is that you get to get something that you got for yourself, but you don't know quite what it is until it arrives. And that's a fun little experiment, isn't it? Um, for those who have gotten them in the past, you know they are lots of fun. You get some amazing treasures, and as Robin shared, she picks out with some heart and love uh, for each bag. Um, but it's a cool, cool thing, and uh, I hope you enjoy yours. I know you mm -hmm. will if you get one. So $99 for those surprise bags. I think one of my favorite things while going through the apothecary group is just seeing the feedback from everyone. Like, look what Robin packed for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. I really like building these for you guys. And, I mean, I've had some people reach out to me telling me how much they, like, it meant to them and the, how they care and I'm it just it makes me feel good and I know that's not what it's about but yeah. it does and I'm excited to build these for you guys awesome all right well congratulations if you got that um, you can come and sold 99 for the surprise bags and last but not least well, well are you doing the giveaway yeah we have some stuff we wanted to talk about really quick Okay. Before the giveaway. All right. Like anything we can slot in. 
Like a thing? Like anything. <laughs> it's gonna be heavy. Who wants it? I got to So we just wanted to bring some attention on some of the items that we have on our website for you. Cool. Um, so this is actually, here we go. Whoops, we gotta back this up. Yeah, this is- Did we lose Luis? Uh, all right. This is our five five kit coming up for, our, for our, of course, Five five. So I just we wanted to make sure that you guys saw this and had a chance to go grab your kit beforehand if you were able to. Um, and on on this it comes with this beautiful uh, mat to grid upon, these stones to grid as well, the candle, a perfume, and all these bay leaves. Can you talk about bay leaves a little bit? Yeah, bay leaves are great for making wishes, um, writing intentions on them, creating prosperity bowls. Just drawing in your desires, pretty much. Um, and then real quick about the perfume and the candle. They both have the same notes. We've got rose, honeysuckle, patchouli, uh, and labdanum, which is really good for, again, drawing in what you desire. Uh, very intentional when picking these scents out for you. Yeah. yeah, and it also comes with this beautiful box as well. So this is part of the kit. Uh, I really want the box. <laughs> Yeah. And oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. The grid. So for this grid that you get to going to go on it, it's a little mini citrine generator, scapolite, angel aura, yellow appetite, African gold pyrite, heliodor, magnetite, and a green golden sapphire, and then the four quartz points. And all of these are just absolutely amazing for abundance and bringing in the energy of five five. So um, if you haven't participated with us uh, in before and, and the different events uh, and things, um, we do have them um, for different rituals. And the 5-5 five, five, um, is an opportunity to manifest for abundance. And so the 5-5 five, five set is designed specifically for that. This is available on our website. Uh, so you can go and get that after tonight's event when mm -hmm. we close out uh, the evening here, which we're about to do with a fun giveaway. So... As we um, move on to the giveaway, just a couple things. If you have won something this evening, um, expect to get an invoice sent to you via email tomorrow. Just go ahead, click on that, pay your invoice, and then we will ship you your goodies. Um, if you have not gotten something but you saw something or would like to see what is left over, uh, you can check out the Facebook event page where in just a few minutes we will post what is left over and you can go ahead this evening and browse and bid on those things and then um, we will tag the winners and send you an invoice for those tomorrow as well. Um, if you haven't already or don't have one, an account at sagegoddess.com, you need one. If you've won something and you want to put your YouTube username in the appropriate field under my account so that we can match up your bid here with... Um, uh, your account at sagegoss.com to send you your invoice so that you can check out and get the items that you have purchased. But um, I want to thank you guys for attending this evening. We have a super cool little giveaway here. It is an agate druzy bowl. This guy is eight inches of splendid wonder. And look at that. Look at that. Sugar druzy inside this mm -hmm. beautiful agate bowl. And this is from Brazil. It's about eight inches in size. It is one of one. The value on this is $499. And if you would like it to be yours, it is yours for free. All you have to do is heart <laughs> and comment here with anything. It can be like, gimme, gimme, I love it. Wow, this is beautiful. So go ahead and do so. I'm going to go ahead and pick the winner here. I don't usually pick the winner. I know. To, I know. Look at this. I Breaking love it. Breaking out of the norm. We are going to scroll through. You know what? Yeah. Janie Donahue. 
Janie. J A N I E Donahue D O N A H U E. I always spell that out for our team. Congratulations on the bowl. Congratulations. 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 You are the winner. Our team will reach out to you to ship this to you. I want to say thank you to all of you for joining us and participating in tonight's SGTV. Thank you to Team SG behind the scenes for all of your love and support um, for us this evening. Thank you to Robin for all of your wisdom and knowledge and to Hanalei, our newest SGTV member here coming from behind the scenes after four years in our apothecary, building amazing products for you to in front of the scenes showing you some of the amazing treasures that we've had for you this evening. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful post-eclipse evening. And thanks to you too, Dave, for being here and being comic relief. I try, you know, sometimes humorous, sometimes far from it. But <laughs> I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you again so much.